Welcome, everyone. We got another very special Super Millions today. It's season two, episode 43, over 700,000 US dollars going up top. I am your host, Jeff Gross, joined by my man, Josh Arie, who is the current reigning WSOP Player of the Year, won two bracelets last year, four overall. Josh, how are you doing? I'm doing great, man. Excited to be here. Excited to watch these beasts go to war. I, well, yeah, I mean, look, WSOP right around the corner. It's a nice, it's always nice to do commentary if you get some of the best in the world. Obviously, you had an epic World Series last year. And I mean, it was only, what, five months ago, six months ago. It was not too long, of course. So uh, I know you're fresh and ready to get back out there. Thank you for taking the time today. And yeah, let's dive in. Let's dive into the action. We got some household names today playing for some big money. Absolutely. Let's do it. All right. So here we go. Let's take a quick look. I mean, off the bat, there might be some names. I know you're probably not grinding online poker very much, especially not, uh, you know, recently. Um, but there's maybe a few names, you know, I think Ben Raleigh stands out the most. I, I don't know if you're familiar with Raise Your Edge or that program, but that is the founder, owner, and absolute legend right there. You look at that GG poker winnings alone. Wow. He's done some serious, serious work. So definitely one of the favorites with, I think, the second overall stack to start the day. So we can see him just take a right away, just gets in there, gets a decent hand, opens it up. Um, Jao Vieira, also a really well-known player. Uh, maybe you played with him live. Do you recognize him? I have. Yeah, he's uh, he's a, he was a staple at the World Series last year. And um, even a couple of years ago, I played with him and man, he was just tough. He's, he is, uh, a tough competitor. He's got a great table presence and, uh, it's, I, I'm sure he's great online as well, but playing live, he has amazing table presence that really works in his favor. Yeah. And look at this Nick Mamoni, who was in the big blind tanking could be up to no good here. Definitely, you know, a player that's willing and able, capable to make some plays. I think he was debating on maybe even squeezing that up, but, you know, possibly folding. This is one of those tricky spots you defend and here we go, right? You flop the ace and yeah. multi-way, very difficult to play, especially against some of the best players in the world, not to mention chip leaders. Um, but look at this turn. He gets a free one and, and hits yeah, absolute gin dirty. here. Yeah. So Pretty he's, dirty. uh, Ben, uh, Ben, is it, does he go by Ben, Benjamin or Ben? Yeah. You call him Ben, like, uh, Ben yeah. CB seven, eight, nine. Yep. Yeah. I think, uh, I think his flop check is going to save him a lot of money here. Um, this is one of those spots where you, there's two ways to look at it. You want to get value. I, wow. This, some advanced stuff going on here because I, I can't imagine Ben's going to check this. I, I mean, I'd, I'd, I'd put a big bet out there. I mean, it's Nick Mamone's hand looks very weak. Um, this could be a, a very big, I would probably bet full pot here. Oh my gosh. These guys, guys are the good. Holy shit. Yeah. I mean, they're just right out of the gate playing above the rim. I, yeah. I don't I don't fault Nick's play there. His hand looks really weak. He would have led with all his aces there on the turn. And it's just that unbelievable check by Ben there where he probably would have would have uh faced a check raise for his whole pile. Um yeah. and, and he would have been forced to make a decision in the second hand of the tournament. Yeah, that was a that was an interesting, very interesting hand. Also, let me uh, alone. If I was let me alone, he is the table captain, chip leader, still the chip leader, even after that hand. Kind of made a made a peel there with the Jack King when it was a bet and a call going to the river. He called a, a half pot bet, so you know, it looks like a guy not afraid to tango, play some hands, and of course, Nick Mamoni. I think I, I, I referenced that to you. Fu fifteen. You remember that moniker from I back do. in the that day. Guy. Absolutely. Yep. That guy was a beast on all platforms. Um, he was always played full schedule on Sunday and probably still does. Uh, but I definitely had some battles with him back in the day. Yeah, for sure. I think he went to Furman and, you know, I just remember him being, being around for, you know, one of the, one of the crushers in the early stages, you can see this prizes are very juicy, almost guaranteed six figures. We do pick it up nine handed and Nick here with a key blocker. He's got the king of clubs. He's open-ended and look at this. The guy just finds ways to win pots, 
blasts a small blind, gets a free one, and then takes it down. So really fast start for Nick. And he actually has the chip lead um, all of a sudden here at this at this nine-handed final table. Yeah, I think with his bet sizing there, his plan was to bet, bet. Uh, he was with with he came with about three quarters pot on the turn, and he had so many out. He probably was coming with a big barrel on the river if he missed as well. So he's he's getting he's definitely getting the cards to be active. What people don't know, like in, in the other. It, what I, the mindset that I try to think about is being in one of the other players' uh, seats where he's really catching cards right now, and but they don't know that. They just see him as being very active. So he could get played back uh, at – if he keeps getting hands like this, there's going to be a big showdown because he knows that they know and – it's just one of those leveling wars that they think he's being overly ag- aggressive this early in the tournament. Yeah. At this stage of the final table. So he does, you know, so far he's picked up a few pots. He's had some hands and gotten some decent runouts. Here's a little trickier spot with seven to get flatted. And now two over cards. Let's see if he goes for a quarter better, just to check back here. He does go, go, well, I, go small. Yeah, it's, it's just a typical C bet. It's, that flop fits his range so much better than if it's the big blind. The big blind's hand can be basically anything at this point. And I expect uh, termination to to call. Yeah. And now it's just a, depending on does Nick want to use his chips uh, right now? And um, I, I, I think that he's going to check because there's just – so many tens that is going are going to continue here um but these guys are here for a reason so that that's why i love watching this because you know even like i consider myself obviously you just won wsov player of the year and you know we feel like we're pretty in tune to the game but these guys are so in so so crazy and look at this he goes with the about 80 yeah. percent pot so i mean just absolute puts pressure think about if he has a 10 you know jack nine king jack even is kind of in an awkward spot and this is a uh, very well yeah, very well he's, done he's definitely he's he's Definitely table captain at this point. It's going to be interesting to see uh, if him and Lev get into a pot together because Lev, like, I'm thinking about the thought process that Lev's dealing with right now. It's been like one lap, and Nick has passed him as chip leader, and it's kind of hard. It depends. You have you have to be um, mentally prepared to not be the chip leader the entire time. And uh, we'll see if if he's struggling with some negative thoughts right now. Yeah, and I, and I got to shout out Lev Me Alone. I mean, he comes in as the, the chip leader of the final table. Hits a 16th Super Million Season 2 appearance. This is just Season 2. Last year, he did win and also four caches. So, you know, take a look at this guy. This is no no slouch. I don't know exactly the name, the real name on this, but we do know that he he has won a WSOP bracelet uh, as well so you know there's a lot of talent here at this table just on the four names we've covered so far so a lot of a lot of great players here and um, it's gonna be fun to watch to see who kind of goes for it and, and who sits back that's what I love about poker you never know what you're gonna get and based on your seat based on the day based on your cards and everything can always be different and it's just it's just fun to see how things play out and here we see Ben with the best hand at the river and um he is going to get the good news of getting wow, checked to get a check down. That's uh, it's pretty standard, very random board, random hands. It's, it's hard to put anybody on ranges at, at that point. Yeah. Yeah. It's blind on blind. Definitely a spot that's fun. We, you know, it's always uh, interesting. And one of those areas, if you're looking, watching here, it's a, it's an area you can work on because there's a lot of different sizes that you see a lot of different blind on blind or button versus big blind. So definitely an area of your game. If you're looking to improve is, is one you could do some work and, and find, find stuff. Josh, how, how much work are you doing on your game after you just won player of the year? Are you just kind of letting everything be how it is? Or have you been doing some studying and, and reviewing? This is the, all the work that I've done since the World Series right now. It's, I haven't watched any <laughs> poker. I haven't played any poker. Um, I, for me, it, it's, it takes me a little, a, a little, um, it takes me a few days to get comfortable. Um, 
but it, it's all about keeping a positive mindset because the World Series is such a long grind and um, even the best of players get, you know, they're not able to bring their A game the entire time. And I found that if I'm able to just be honest with myself uh, that I'm bringing my best to the table, uh, that's good enough for me. And I, I'm confident that eventually the results will come. Yeah, very nice. Well, it is the, I guess, eve of the WSOP. I know you're getting out there. I believe you said tomorrow. And if you guys, anyone at home, if you guys are going to be joining at the WSOP, please say hi to Josh. I think I'm going to come out myself for a bit as well. So, um, you know, say hi to us there and say hi to us tonight. Let us know where you're watching from and please hit the thumbs up. It helps us a lot. And if you're enjoying this high stakes action, we, we appreciate it very much. So thank you to everyone tuning in and watching. We've got a very international crowd here on YouTube, Josh. I don't know if you see the chat or falling at all, but very friendly group, very uh, eager to learn and, and improve. And this has been, been really fun doing these, these weekly shows. So yeah, I, um, love, have you, it. I, yeah. I love it. I, uh, I, I do not see the YouTube chat, but uh, if there's any, ever any questions that you see, feel free to uh, send them to me. And I, uh, I plan on learning from this and uh, offering the best uh, experience and knowledge that I can, but, these guys are all uh, absolute crushers, and I wouldn't want to be at this table right now. It's, I would have already, <laughs> I would have already been forced to make a decision for my whole pile. Uh, yeah, I love it. Well, I mean, listen, it is nice to be at a final table. It's a, it's a 10K. There's satellites for 500, 1K. I believe some other options as well. So it's, uh, it's pretty juicy. I mean, this is, does this, does this surprise you to see a ten thousand dollar buy-in tournament? So this is from Sundays, and then it comes in for a Tuesday final table. I mean, this is $735,000 from an online, just like a, on a Tuesday. What are your thoughts on this? Did you ever think online poker would be in this, this state? I, I think it's amazing. Um, back in my online heyday, it was basically 80% US players and 20% um, the rest of the world. But as we all know, in 2010, we lost internet poker and the international or the rest of the world continue to improve and continue to get better so uh, i'm i'm not surprised uh, at the skill level of these players and it's pretty cool that uh gg is able to keep the atmosphere safe for players to to battle for this kind of money um uh, you know it's 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 a tough job to to make sure that everybody's playing on a uh, uh, fair playing field. And I think GG does an amazing job with that. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's, um, it's obviously been, um, it's pretty, it's pretty sweet to see what's going on here and how they've able to, to keep it. It's been interesting times on online poker, but there's been a lot of security and issues of being solved and helped. So I, it's great to see that, that it is uh, still a very healthy place. And here we've got an interesting pot developing with, a five seven suited flops top pair, but going to be some tricky streets to proceed. And let's see how yeah, Jal goes about I, I, this. I don't see. I, I don't. That this this flop just does not hit his range. Um, it's this this hand is never going to build any pot. I mean, there's nothing's going to happen here. Um, Jow is is it Jow? Yeah, we'll go with Jow. That's that's. Jow. I think it's yeah, Jow. Um, he he understands that 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 flop just cr just crushes like Francisco's range crushes Jao's range at this point, and I think that when he checked the flop, he was just waving the white flag and hoping to get lucky. Um, it just it's situations like this come about where you get dealt great hands and the flops just don't work with whatever you're range that you're representing and sometimes you just have to let it go well i'll tell you what he is taking an awful long time i think ultimately probably going to find a full but if you look at this board hearts miss six seven misses um there's some other hands in here too so i he doesn't have a heart he doesn't have a six or a seven this is definitely a candidate for for a call but i think situationally i don't know if this player is just going to go and and bluff um, you know, that's a lot of their stack. It's huge ICM right now. So I think he right. just ultimately decided not, but you could see the wheel spinning and that's what these, the best do. They, they take these, these different spots and they're really, you know, they're really this, trying to win pots. 
Yeah, this hand, this, I, I'm really interested to see how this hand plays out. Uh, just this small blind is such a hard place to play. So with the stack like this, uh, I would think that now Francisco is just going to fold. Um, yeah. And we'll, we'll see a flop here and maybe we'll get some fireworks with a couple clubs on the flop and see who outplays the other. Well, yeah. Well, this has been a, yeah, interesting, interesting spot, but ace eight suited kind of, uh, you know, not a dream, dream scenario there just gets out of the way too many, too many bad situations. So Nick does have his first, I don't want to say adversity, but it seems like he had won every pot, every situation yeah. going his way. He does have 8 million. So a significant uh, stack at this table. We see a few short stacks. And then of course uh, we see Ben and Lev me alone, both sitting very healthy as well. So um, you know, plenty of blinds, plenty of play yeah, right now at this stage of the tournament. Stack, the, the low stack has 15 big blinds, and it's it's not time to panic, and you can still do some creative stuff. You know, if you know your opponents well enough, you can really get away with some creative things between 20 and 15 blinds when when people think that you are, uh, that your ranges are extremely polar at that point. Um, I really like to mix in some creative uh, a creative three bet here and there thinking that he has to have it. Um, but this could be trouble for Zhao. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I want to, oh, we got to do a snake draft. We got to do this. Let's, let's get a little um, wager, Josh. I, I forgot we mentioned yeah. it before the stream, do a friendly one. We can do a dinner in Vegas or, or a meal maybe, or a monetary, whatever, whatever you're thinking, Absolutely. but uh, let's do let's a bet dinner, man. And we'll go out and have a good fun night. Okay. All right. It's a deal. So let's do, we'll, we'll pick snake draft red or black flop on the next flop. I'll let you choose. You right. want red or black? Who goes first? Well, I have to take black because there's three red cards. <laughs> okay, fair enough. I'm, well, always, I'm always edge hunting. I'm always edge hunting. Smart. Hey, listen, that's a, that's a, it just shows you you're dialed in, man. You're thinking about what's going on here. And, and Jow is definitely going to appeal, but this is sort of a, a very man, tricky, tricky matchup. Man. All right, go ahead and pick. You got All right, black. you know what? I got black, so this is interesting. I am going to actually take my man, Ben CB, Ben Raleigh, who is okay. uh, the, the founder, creator of Razor Edge, and that's where I work with All him. Right. This guy's well, a crusher. I'm going with him. I'll be the knit, and I'll take the two big stacks, Nick and Leave Me Alone. Wow. So yeah, that kind of worked out for that was actually a big, <laughs> big swing. I'm happy. I'm happy to have Ben, but I kind of in your spot would rather have uh, the, yeah, that two, three right there. So that kind of, you somehow got the two chip leaders right now. So, all right. And then what I get two, right? Um, I'll give you the next three to make oh, it wow. fair. Yeah. I'll give you the next three because the rest, three. I mean, yeah, it's, uh, you probably have to take the, the, Termination, the yeah, the chips, I guess. Yeah, I'm definitely taking Jiao. So I'll take Jiao, Termination, and three is very generous. Um, but I guess, man, I don't, uh, I guess I'll go with, um, I'll go with, uh, actually go with Francisco over there. That's Francesco. what I was do. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I'll get two and then you get the last one. I will yeah. take. Uh, so you pick termination or uh, or Bruxo. Yeah, I got termination, Jao, and Francisco. Okay, I'll take Bruxo, and you gotta go with the. Uh, I gotta have a Brazilian. No, Bruxo is a uh, Brazilian. Um, I'll take uh, Blue Moon and mm -hmm. Bruxo, and then you have the old uh, Irish knit with fifteen right. big lines. So Const I'm writing us, per down. All right, Blue perfect. Lev, Nick, and Bruxo. All right. All right. Well, we got it. We got some action. We got we got a dinner on the line. We got a little friendly wager. It's gonna be a nice dinner though, Josh. Don't get it twisted. We're gonna have this. Isn't gonna be what I don't know the Bally's food. What their options are, but we're probably going off property. Yeah, we're probably, I'd say we're definitely going off property. 
There's um, the best restaurants in the world, and we're not uh, we're not staying at Paris. No, no, we're gonna have a we're we'll have a night out. Play. I mean, look at this guy. It's like this spot's really cool to me. How guys get creative like this. I, I don't know what he thinks or what he knows about. He maybe he has a stat that Blue Moon sea bets too much, but I mean he's going to win this pot with, you know, putting Blue Moon has to be thinking right now. This guy's got it, you know. It's I, I don't remember the action pre because we were gambling, but I, I think that Bruxo is is going to. I really feel like this is going to get through. Here's the weird, here's the crazy part though. This is such an unconventional raise on this board with this hand and, and blue moon's kind of got a hand. He could go to town with some turns and bluff, but now he's sort of, he's getting a good price. So, I mean, he's probably thinking, can I peel? Can I bluff a diamond? Do I want to even do that? Am I going to try to bluff? You know, it does look strong. It looks like two pair or, you know, something really, really nice here. So this is a very interesting hand and, and I'm curious how he's going to proceed. It's interesting Small because race. Like, he's basically only representing king queen because he doesn't have ace king here. He doesn't have kings or queens and he doesn't have ace queen. So it's like he's extremely polarized his hand to king queen only. And yeah, he's probably not flatting threes pre flop. Um, no, for, I mean, so, it, I think it works. It's just, it's really, really good. I, there's nothing, you know, I, that's, that's tricky, right? When, when, it is tricky. It's tricky. When you rep such a small range, it is hard, but sometimes you just, it just works. It shows the power of aggression and a little Brazilian on Brazilian crime there. Um, <laughs> Bruxo. Uh, oh, my man. I'm trying to put my two, my two guys piles together. Hey guys, quick. I got a cat and a dog here about to fight. I didn't hear what he just said. Jalvera said, please don't snap full that Lev is short or maybe that he was sitting out. I didn't see what happened. There could be some good sportsmanship there, but either way, we have not lost the player. We're still nine handed in the ICM, Josh. I mean, everyone likes to talk about ICM, but people like to go for it. We're about to enter into six figure territory and those, those top, top four or five payouts over a quarter million. Yeah. So it gets pretty juicy, pretty quick here. It's already at 91. Uh, very, very nice turnout and a big, big purse today. Again, on the super millions. So yeah, I've been reading good. a lot. Um, I've been reading a lot about ICM and playing non ICM or like what they call burning ICM or uh, um, ICM suicide. Yeah. And in, if this isn't really a place to, uh, to really have ICM suicide, but I really feel like um, taking a non ICM approach to a bigger final table. I guess this is pretty big. I mean, this is seven hundred and thirty-five thousand at first. I don't know. I think that uh, th there's a lot to be said about going against ICM, and uh, I'm really going to uh, explore that. If uh, I if I'm able to get into a spot here, or if I'm able to get into spots in the future, I love I love that you're such like an old school field guy too, because it's just hilarious to think that you know you can really come into the WSOP and you know not do a lot of the studying and work. Like you're just you got a great feel and you're you know you have a lot of poker acumen, so it, it's pretty cool to see that you know that still is um, you know. I'm not, I'm in the same boat. I'm not big in yeah. that. I do a bit of solver works and stuff, but I'm not in there like hitting these, this stuff. And it's amazing that you're able to stay at the top and, and, and compete at the highest level and, and really just not do a ton of that, that, that work, which is refreshing. I mean, it shows you don't need to do that. It's not mandatory. Yeah, I, I, you know. I appreciate it. Um, unfortunately, like I don't enjoy poker the way that I used to, I used to enjoy every minute at the table, every discussion and uh, Part, one of my faults is I'm pretty lazy. So it's when I decide that I'm going to study or whatever, like I'll sit down and, and think I'm going to study and look over some stuff. And I'm just bored with it after 15 or 20 minutes. Um, I'm just a competitor and um, I have a good feel for the flow of poker game, live poker games. And I just, uh, uh, here's a big spot, but I, I, 
I enjoy competition. I enjoy seeing how people react to uh, the way adrenaline affects them. And uh, I, I think I use it to a pretty good advantage. And so, I mean, everybody can't play perfectly. GTO and, you know, solver approved. And so I, I'm going to make mistakes, but I'm also going to win pots that a solver isn't able to win. Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, we had a we had an unbelievable fun final table. You're at many, so I'll remind you that the the one of the ones you won, the 10k high low, that was crazy. We had there were yeah, I think um, it was. I mean, there was like 15 or 20 all ins at the final table yeah, where people were doubling. Was, the, yeah. It was really crazy, and there was um, a lot to be said. I think that a lot of people were playing their hands face up. It was a lot of honest poker going on, um, and. I was just fortunate enough to catch the right hand at the right time and build up a stack to play against some of the other uh, inexperienced players. Wow, here's an action hand. What a flop here. Top two versus two overs open-ended. I mean, this is this has got the makings of a massive hand here. Let's I, see, though. I don't, like, I don't like the quick bet there. Uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm not big. Like, one of the only things that I'm capable of picking out is timing tells. And I, I don't think that the quick bet was the right way to go. But then again, I mean, I could be wrong. It's um, wow. This is this is yeah. He went for a third pot on the flop, and now you know this sizing is a little uncomfortable for Jow because this is yeah. a lot of his chips. And yeah. I mean, he he just gives it wow. up. So that's really good. It's it's nice, really nice really fold. good. Nice full like uh, it, it's in a spot like that you think wow blue moon found the aces but he's not going to get any play yeah um, yeah literally no one has anything. you know in a spot like that it's tough for for Jao because he feels like a king or queen could be good so um you know hats off to him to you know understanding the stack to pot ratio and and how much he was going to have left and now, uh, yep. Lev, Lev, and uh, Lev and Nick and Ben are really uh, separating themselves from the field here. So we'll see. Like, I think this is where it's going to tighten up a lot because all these short stacks are just praying that somebody else gets involved. Um, the difference right now is what's at forty thousand almost thirty thirty seven thousand. So. Um, I, I feel like the three big well, stacks we're still we're active. still nine we're still nine handed oh, so yeah, it's 20 yeah. yeah 28 or 27 28 I think yeah. yeah 27 yeah so it's but yeah I mean look the pay jumps the ICM is massive coming up here this is you know just to to hit home on ICM like between the eighth and 13th position generally that's when it's the most and a heads up there is no ICM um that, that just the uh, there's there's chip value but it's not there's not actually an ICM situation so this is the most crucial part of the tournament wow. where icm is actually the most impactful so it is always interesting to see who disregards it who gambles who pushes action and who sort of really respects it and that's that's obviously exploitative uh, as well because you can you can really hone in on that and here pretty big collision here top two versus um now nine ten is going to snap check back so nice pot could have been could have been some worse rivers there for let yeah, me alone, like but Ben. See, I, I would like to see Ben think about it a little more. Um, you know, the Lev is is repping. You know, he he was under the gun race. He's repping a very high range. Um, I would have liked to see him think about the situation more, and not necessarily he doesn't have to bet. And it's very uh, results oriented to say he should have bet. Um, but just at least think about it a little more than just auto check to him when, especially when an ace comes an ace can change everything. And if he would have decided to bluff there, like if he, if he missed the seven, eight, you know, give yourself a chance to win pots in creative ways. Yeah. I think also to your point about the range and where he was at, I think he realized that that's a card that if his opponent was bluffing like King Jack, King Queen, he may just take that opportunity to, to rep that card. So I, you know, I think that 
But yeah, I agree. I think that's also a good point for people at the World Series. Like there's a big difference between tanking unnecessarily and wasting time. And then when you're playing hands, take your time and, and think about hands, right? That this is uh you know, this is important, especially if you're playing live, you know, you're not used to maybe playing on live poker. Take your time before you act and 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 just you know, don't waste time. When you when you know you're right. folding, you have a terrible hand, don't don't like you don't right. need to a balance of, ten seconds. Yeah, yeah, a lot of times you'll really notice and I like to call it an honest action. Like a guy will check and, and it just looks honest. Like it looks like he wants it checked. Um, and, and I try to, I try to not, uh, I, I try to, to give as, as, as little information as I can possible. And there's just certain times that it's just like honest action and and then also in the, in the last scenario, like, just think about it a little bit. Like, think about what that ace does. Um, you know, did he have plans on, you know, did, was he trying to get the guy to bet ace king or ace queen? Uh, like, a bluff turned into a really good hand. Is that what he's trying to do? Uh, he's not going to yeah. get a check raise in. You know, you're never going to get a check raise in at that point. So if the guy could have made that hand, let him bet it or, or go ahead and bet it. And, and you're usually going to get snap called. For sure. Well, I, I can tell you, these guys have history. These are the two, two of the chip leaders and they're definitely experienced uh, with this ex- specific tournament, the 10 K they played a lot of this super millions together. So I'm sure they're familiar. And look at this King nine is going to complete, but makes the straight paired board and really just Mamoni not interested with King eight there. So no, uh, no harm, no foul here. We're still nine handed, nine handed poker, not a very popular part of poker these days, right? This is just because for the final table, it was nine handed. I think it's eight handed tournament throughout. And then when they do join the final table, instead of playing, you know, four and five, it goes to nine. This is going to shove here. Wow. This is irritating. This is so irritating for him. Wow, that's a good fold. It's a really good fold. Yeah, I mean, early position raise off that stack gets flatted. I think just realizing probably doesn't have much fold the equity and ace jack off not performing super well. I mean, Jao here, really nice hand to close the action, although, you know, his stack's starting to get a little bit vulnerable as well. So he does get a decent flop. No one loves this. Jack 10 suited actually has some stuff going on here, but um, let's see how Jao goes about this. Starts with the check. Makes sense. Ace queen off with the big blind call here in a flat behind. This is about this is as irritating. grim as it gets. Yeah. And actually it does have the best hand. Look, this is a I mean, this is a really good bet from from Lev. I mean, it's this hand, I mean, he's probably flat with his stack, he's probably flatting with all pairs, sixes through tens. Um I don't know, maybe tens, he may be three bet, but not he doesn't have to. And he's yep. just supposed to take it down here. It's 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 really good work from Lev. It's a nice bet. I mean, the guy is showing that he is not afraid. He has been pushing the action. He sits at the top with Ben right now. He started the day chip leader. Mamoni's chipped up a bit and kind of been involved. And here we got hair, pair, yeah. pair, and king, queen. So my guy, couple... it's my guy against your guy for all the chips right here. Well, we're gonna should... see a ri- wow. I can't. I mean, I would just think that's got to be a shove. What's got he got? Eleven blinds. Now, if this guy folds, I am retiring. Are you taking a little more time before you get out to Vegas? <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll study all day. Um, well, he does go for it. And I mean, this is so Nick's got two sixes, but really not incentivized to be the sheriff here. This guy's been pretty tight. I think this is uh what's he got? One point two. No, this is I also he, fairly close. I think he's I think he's I, I'm shoving here. You know, I think he's you're gonna, wow, you're this get is, these guys to fold. Or maybe like min click, and I'm actually not sure. He's this is super close. Uh, sixes, maybe so. I think like I could definitely see him folding. I could also see him, um, yeah, raising. I don't think flatting makes any sense. And like you said, uh, he does so. Look at we're 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 both. <laughs> That's why poker is fun. But I I actually thought he would. Uh, 
Yeah, I thought he would even fold potentially, but the call actually is interesting. And look at this. This is a bad flop, but it, is there ever a world where he would fold for 500? That's a weird like 700 raise too, right? Some people leave a little bit, but he left like 40% of his stack. I mean, this is a strange play out of a hand. Yeah, so you, I, I, I brought you on Super Millions to to dial you in to the matrix, not to confuse you. But I'm a, this one, this this one's a little bit of a strange one. Yeah, this one. Uh, I mean, it, you know what? It's it would have ended up. Uh, everything would have been the same. Um, I think that ooh, almost hit him. Um, Close. I think that calling is the worst possible um in my mind i think min clicking and i think shoving and i also think folding are all better than calling but there's i don't know i mean he can call and if one of those other stacks shove he can fold yeah i think i think it was just he's saying there's 3.3 there behind like i guess he just realized like his call looks so strong that he's basically saying look if someone else decides to put it in they basically have to have ace king uh, plus, right? Like jacks or plus queen, you know, ace king or jack. So I don't know. I mean, I see the merit. I see where he's at on it. I just, like you said, I, that's why poker is amazing because there is, is. You know, I think he he took a while and he's, you know, he probably does some different things just on little variations on the stack sizes as well uh, from there. So, you know, I, that's a, this yeah. is, this is a hell of a turn card right here for Lev. It's, uh, I, I see him, he has to bet here. Um, and it puts a lot of pressure on a lot of ace jack, jack. Well, it's not going to put pressure on jack queen suited, but um, yeah, he Nick had exactly what he had to have. God, I've never I I haven't thought like about poker like this in a while. <laughs> Josh, you're the, you're the reigning World Series Player of the Year. We need to get you in the matrix, man. Let's get you focused in here. This is perfect. I love that you said you haven't done any poker work until until now. And I guess the World Series was only – it was in November, the last one. So it hasn't been yeah. that long. But uh, it's time to start getting getting into gear here, man. It let's, is. Uh, it is. Let's – Let's lock in. Yeah, those of you that don't know, this is Josh Arie. I did win WSOP Player of the Year, won two bracelets last year. Got to play with Josh in a few tournaments, including I think you actually knocked me out of the, the last tournament of the summer or or maybe just before. But we also battled in that 10K Omaha High Low, which was a very fun tournament. Obviously, you ended up winning it. I think I, I got fifth place and it was sort of just like a the short stacks were just sort of on the yeah. chopping block for a while. It was a lot of all ins and, and doubling. Yeah, there was, it was crazy. I mean, I I don't remember. I somebody counted, and I think that like the 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 low there was like thirteen all ins or something, and the low stack won every time. And you know, unfortunately, like you uh, never really got a hold of some chips, so you were just at the mercy of the deck. But you battled for a long time, and then. Uh, Finally, I'm pretty sure you finally got aces and then ended up like uh, getting knocked out from a hand that shouldn't even have been there. Uh, oh, no, no. Actually, what happened was I lost with aces pretty early on with like eight or nine left. I lost a sick pot versus like one of the best hands I could be against. And that that got me short. So like I that was a big pot. That's what happened. And then I kind of was just sort of hanging, hanging around. But yeah, that I mean, that's a fun game. High low is a fun, fun game. Omaha is a great game. Definitely. But yeah. But yeah, you had your way. You were opening a lot and just sort of taking down pots and and had the had a fun fun seat here. And and here yeah, is a interesting board where everyone's got a little something, some key cards in there. Although eight nine just goes ahead and just no no fear goes for a half pot, goes for a value bet on the on the turn here. And and Ben with a key card and also ace high, which could be good blind on blind. So definitely could see him being sticking around. This is like one of the hands is like old school a guy would just like make it 800. Just straight to the streets. Yeah. Let's see. Ben's using some of that chess clock. Uh, each player does get, I believe, 15 minutes to start the hand. We actually, Josh, last week, it was an amazing final table. I think 1.3 million to first. Brian Rast was joined with me and we got to see a time bank run out and then there was a heads up match. So it was like five seconds, every decision. It actually was, it was really like crazy to watch. Like the guy had no, oh, yeah. no time bank and it was, it came into play a few times. So let's see if uh, now we're going to yeah. find out, like we're going to find out like uh, what this 
Constas, is it Giannis? Um, we're going to find out a little from him here. This is a really, really pretty hand. And he's sitting there playing about 20 big blinds. Um, we're going to find yes. out like a lot about him right here. Like this, this should go to like 620 or something. I mean, he only has 20 bigs though. So three betting off 20 bigs is kind oh, of wow. fishy. I, I could see, yeah, I could see that. I think yeah, it's kind of awkward. You know, do you, you can't really flat in that position. And I, I, I just, I agree. I guess you could have some three bets, but you know, I think he ultimately just said it might look even weaker to shove, but I, I you know, could go either yeah. way with that. And right to work, Francesco, Francesco going to get the ace eight suited going. And Blue Moon, who is very short now, under 10 blinds. Uh, nice couple hands there for Francesco. Yeah. is going to chip up a bit. He's got the heater. He's on a little heater. We got some some kind words in the chat. They say, you look like a young George Clooney, Josh. Did oh, you ever yeah. get that? Is that your doppelganger? Oh, all, the, all the time, yeah. Me and George... He, I look just like him. Stunt double, no, almost. yeah. No. Yeah, just because I have gray hair. Thanks, guys. <laughs> really? Well, hey, I'll take it. It's listen, uh, there's trust me, YouTube chat, man. They're they're amazing, but they can they can come with worse than that. So I, you got to take it. You can take next it when you time, get it. That's no, a, for sure. Next time, uh, next time I go out, I'm gonna bring that person as my wingman to go tell all yeah. the ladies that I look like uh, George Clooney. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it might be a, that might be a plant in the chat. Maybe that's one of your buddies in there. But either way, we'll uh, we'll take it. And we do welcome you guys in. Please let us know where you're watching from and hit that thumbs up button if you are enjoying the stream. It means a lot and helps us to grow and expand the show. So thank you guys and girls for being here. I am joined by Josh Arya, and we are watching some action. Look at Let Me Alone, Josh. A lot of line here at the eight ten off. Wow, um, that's I, I don't think that i think that's a bad fold by Giannis. um what did he what did he have sevens he folded two sevens and i i just can't imagine that that's correct i mean it's it's results oriented that the guy in the blind has that nick has two nines but um i i feel like that was a great opportunity to just shove the two million in there i i, I don't know it's yeah, especially off the chip leader in that position. Correct. And if you look at it, like the guy's opening 8, 10 off. Now, the interesting part would be with the raise and the shove, Nick with the two nines in the big blind. I mean, that's a pretty strong hand versus yeah. the button shove. So yeah. it would have been um, it, it, it would have been tough on Nick. I don't think he I don't think he gets away with it. I mean, gets away from it with two million and you know, I yeah, it's I feel like, but once again, we're in God mode. I see the cards. He doesn't, um, you know, he, I'm sure Giannis knows ICM way better than I do. Uh, so it's, I'm sure that what he did was correct. Yeah. Yeah, no, sevens, sevens is a dicey spot. I mean, you know, that's why poker also is so interesting in tournaments because, you know, it's a game of inches like golf, right? Like you get deep, there's big money, and it, to get a couple spots more, you take a risk, you not. And, you know, it's like you also want to have a chance at that big money because, look, at ninth or eighth or seventh, right. going up a couple spots is great, but you also want to have a shot to win the lion's share. So uh, teach his own. Everyone's got their own style, their own sort of, you know, situation and, and thought process. But, um, you know, yeah, there's I'm not sure, necessarily I'm sure, a, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm certain – this hand's going to be really interesting. Um, yeah, a couple of playable hands here. Wow. So this is just insane. I mean, it's. I probably shove there with king queen suited. Um, once again, like. I, I just always, in my mind, I always think the chip leader is full of shit. It's just, it's just the way that I am. It's the way that I'm wired. When I'm the chip leader, I'm usually full of shit. And I think that now, I mean, I think Francisco has to call here. 
It's, well, so I, I love this show from Joe is amazing because he's probably realizing Francisco is not going to flat, you know, so many has so many traps and look at this, the wow. Jack King suited just snaps it off. Like just goes for it. You know, King Jack suited to nine. So luck, three Joe. to one favorite. Yeah. Good luck. And this is a very nice turn. So it takes away the spades. Uh-huh. You can see that oh, it's not many there. Stay and clean. it is a, it is a clean ace on the river and very Good big job, pot kid. for Jao. He's got five million, and that is not good news for the field because a very good player gets some chips. And of course, everyone Absolutely. always wants people knocked out to get up the pay jump. So tough break there. And let me alone, who's playing very aggressive and going for it, takes a little bit of a blow, and this sort of evens out some of the the chips so things get a little more consolidated. I think that, and and, and I don't know that I'm right, and it's just the way that the, the hands fell, I would have probably shoved with Francisco's hand and I would have probably been overrating King Queen suited. Um, and there's a really good chance that Zhao would have folded the two nines. Um, and Lev wasn't, isn't going to call off in a spot like that with, you know, he, he had 280 in the pot and he's going to call off another 2.4 million with, King Jack? I don't think so. But it's results oriented and that's it's the hardest thing to do um, when you're commentating. Or for, it's the hardest thing that I notice is this it's in God mode is is makes it seem so easy. Yeah, well, what a card here. So we see check check and Lev who gets a bottom pair on the flop now. You know, it gets a little more dicey here. Still can definitely think he has the best hand, but a very key card for Zhao. And let's see how he goes about this. If he wants to preserve stack, which he does, and he decides not to tell a story. And the four is somehow good now and is going to get to show that down. So let me alone. You know, this is also probably a function of Zhao knowing the player, how sticky he yeah. is. He it's just well decides played, that, you know. It's yeah. very well played by both players. Yep. And here, sevens again. For my man under I mean, the gun you, this time. You have to fold. I mean, if, if he if he goes now, I think going now, okay. Yeah. I think that's a much worse spot than what the spot he had earlier from the button was. Yeah, now Brooks R10. Brooks R10 has got a pretty premium holding here off of 20 bigs, but he does see a medium stack open and ace queen lets it go. Let's see, Ben with the bigger stack and a bigger, uh, better position. Let's see if he, what he does, goes for the call. Guy just seems to make the right plays at the right times. And now both players miss. Position is is key. The ace do suited. You make the open. Now let's see, how do you how do you go and maneuver post-flop when you just totally whiff? Does he fire a bet or do you just kind of give up? Just, uh, you know, what kind of story are you telling? Uh, when you're you're a basically under the gun plus one, you know, that hand doesn't fit your range. And I don't think that this is going to work. I think that Ben is, God, here I go. I mean, it's just. Yeah. I mean, at the same time, right. He does have Kings. He does have aces. He does have Queens. Ben blocks aces and jacks. Um, You know, maybe just thinking this player might not get two out of line. He could definitely float one. Uh, you could even potentially raise and put the guy in a really tough spot. You know, you could maybe get some hero folds from like, you know, I'll tell you what, if you have like jacks or queens here, look at that. He does go for the race. I mean, just showing, puts him in the blender and gets the snap fold. Because I'll tell you, man, if this player has queens or jacks um, or, you know, queens or kings, it's maybe just rips it in. But it's also not that comfortable because Ben has all those pairs. Um, and here's Bruxel with aces again. No one really has anything behind, but second time we've seen aces passed out. Uh, queen three suited. I'm a sucker. Players. I'm 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 seeing the flop. Um, suited cards just look so good to me. Oh lord, this will get checked to the river. Wow, that's a quad. I mean, that is a uh, a, a quad, and he gets oh, the first part so of the dirty. equation. This will be so but, dirty. 
what, what's your thoughts on the, on flapping like quads and straight flushes and stuff? Do you just always let people catch up because it just seems like that's the better play always? Well, but I, like, I think it's 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 for me it's player dependent. And, you know, what's my history with that person? Um, what what's his stack size? And people are uh, much looser with their chips uh, when you have a lot of them, obviously. Um, but in a spot like this, this guy is sitting on 10 blinds so he's not going to really get out of line and he's not going to just like go four streets with just an or go all three streets with just a nine and he's probably not going to bluff his his last 10 blinds off so i i i think in a situation like this that betting here is a mistake um but you know if you know you call here i i i, I would have checked again and that, and he won two, uh, you know, a blind more than I would have. Won. Yeah, he did get the two hundred k call, and he's just praying his opponent has a flush somehow. He did have a flush draw, but the front door, I'm sorry, the back door flush or the front door flush draw came in. So this is uh, not gonna get any more from him. But yeah, cheers to him for getting an extra bet by not slow playing to the river. And, and I would I would value bet here again because once in a while the guy is going to call with uh, a king high on the turn, so now I would be trying to get paid off by aces and kings. Um, I can't just give a player a flush. Yeah, it's. It, it, I think that I think that what I would have done there was to bet very small in the river to try to get paid off by. Uh, uh, guy that that turned king high into two pair. Yeah, so interesting to see Jao with five million chips fold ace five suited there. I think just realizing, um, you know, there are some jam rejam stacks and it's nine handed, and he decides ace five suited at this time is not going to happen. Look at this. This is just great players find these spots. It just activates for him, and he decides. You know what? I am going to take the spot. No one has more than two million. The two million doesn't really want to call off because Blue Moon is short. So this is um, the risk premium is the lowest for Blue Moon. So he actually has the the least to risk being the shortest stack. Um, this would definitely be a a good spot against the range that Lev is shoving. You know he's going to have obviously even worse hands, but a lot of Broadways which he dominates could have worse aces, weak aces, and he happens to have you know, a random queen six suited. So he does notice it, right. takes the spot, but he's at risk. Good gamble, dude. Good job, Blue. Yeah, you're Oof. dead. Have a nice day, Blue. Sorry about, oh my gosh. Yeah, overkill. Just in case he missed the flop, there's the turn. Good game around the table. That is going to be our ninth place finisher, 91,931 Blue Moon right there. Congrats. And look at this, 3.3 million dollars in earnings on GG. So my man can play some poker. Uh, nice run. I know you wanted more, but uh, well done. And we do have our first elimination at this final table today. All players guaranteed six figures. 119000 up next. And, yeah, that is uh, – man, these guys are playing. Three million. Like, Josh, these are impressive careers for online poker in know. total, let alone in <laughs> one – on GG alone, we're seeing some big, big seven-figure scores. And here's a couple of real hands. Ben also with sevens. Um, under the gun, though, off a vulnerable stack. Let's see what he does here. He's up to 10 million. Just shy. There are a couple of short stacks. And this is where it's fun to watch, see what, what players are doing and how they go about this scenario so look at it just folds it josh that's pretty phenomenal i i my, in my mind i was thinking like 640 and fold um which could be insanely stupid but um if the guy doesn't have uh, he's not going to take the price if he doesn't have a really good hand and i think that 640 would have done the trick but then again the guy's under the gun raising so it's you know it's, it's usually not going to be crap all right and look at this nick says let me alone man i see you're opening eight ten off you're opening a lot of hands i got a suited 
perfect hand on the button bluffing and we see a call and look at this oh, wow this has got chip lead implications <laughs> in this in this in this hand right here i mean ace four suited let's see if nick's going to take equity or decided to keep the lead in the hand here 2.1 in the middle he does just have ace high but there is a lot of value in his stack so he does go for the check back And let me alone just comes on out for a third pot and very, very he dynamic board. Quick. He does everything yep. quick. I, 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 it's really interesting. 3.5 in the middle improves to two pair. Ace Jack is a straight. Uh, thinking about the hands that he could get three bet by. I don't think you know, Jack Nine is not really in there. And he decides just goes for, for, for half pot going for value. I mean, this guy's got heart. He's just got, yeah. he just, he plays quick. He goes for value, and I got a you know he's definitely a dangerous player. Nick probably thinking, man, I three bet, I'm in position. I even got a free card after the flop, and ultimately doesn't oh, improve. Oh, what could have been? Yeah, yeah, he's, yeah that, he's that, that was damn. A, I was one diamond away from the promised land. Yeah, that was Vegas in the mirage right there. But he still <laughs> has sure five was. five million, and uh, he's sitting sitting in third place, I believe. Nick's still very healthy. See what these blind on blinds can come up with here. 3.5 million to 2.1. So interesting. Brooks does go for the, the raise with a modest Brooks, holding. That's my man committing nice violence play. against yours. He did choose violence and he is up to 3.8 million. And here, Ace Deuce suited. Shout out to Ann Arbor, Michigan, the A squared. Anyone from Michigan, please say hello in the chat. And we have got. Then with jacks in the big blind, the two biggest stacks just calls little pot control and deception. I like it. Slips it right on over. Yeah, let me alone. Not not going to go for a bite there. And Ben, I think, can pretty safely believe he's betting. I mean, look, Lev's been pretty splashy. A lot of draws here, man. I could see him sticking on here. It, it's, it's a little speculative because you're just pure guessing, but there are a ton of draws. No spade in his hand. Uh, but Ben went for a little bigger sizing and Lev, I think Lev, trust me, Lev knows Ben can play some poker. He's not, it doesn't, he, he's messing around. He's playing a lot of pots, but he's sort of, he's not, he's you know, looking to he's, fight. Yeah. He's, yeah. If you look like all the pots that he's played have been mostly, he either had it or he was up against, you know, one of the very small stacks. Yeah. All right. So. Ace four, queen three suited. We see a Ben start with a check and ace four off. Just going to recognize, you know what? I could have the best hand, but I just want to sort of see where I'm at and picks it up. So these boys are jocking for the chip lead one and two. We are down to God, eight. The action is so fast. Players. Yeah. Yeah, it is. And like you don't get some... a chance to breathe. You play these, you play these, these pots that double your heart rate. And then a half a second later, you have a new hand. It's that's yeah. a diff there's a big difference in live poker. It's like, and whenever you're in a big pot in live poker, you get a little time to wind down, you stack your chips, you take a sip of water and you get your heart rate right. But here it's just, uh, I like, I like this spot, they all stop and go. I feel like if you just call, you're going to get, I mean, if you go all in here, you're going to get called no matter what. But if you pull the old stop and go, you, uh, I mean, and we're going to see a flop here. But I, I don't think he's, situation, I don't think he's going to call. I think he is. I mean, he's, he's only got, it's his whole stack and the guy has been tight. The guy's folding sevens, sevens, maybe seeing his stream and it's for all the chips, king, queen off. I, I could see the fold there. We actually saw Jao fold king, queen suit that same hand. Did you see that? Did you pick up that fold on the, as well? Yes, I, I noticed that. I remember that. Yeah. I mean, obviously, I, he doesn't. I wonder when does when does the stream catch up with? Uh, so we're on a forty minute delay or a thirty minute delay. Yeah, I believe forty minute delay. So you know, there's there's a lot of. Uh, so they'll there, start seeing cards. They'll start. They're starting to get information right about now, and yeah. um, so we'll have to take that in, into into consideration when people are making certain plays. So interesting, Ben checks back here. I think he just feels he has a little too much hand. It's going to work against him as, you know, I think he can also 
deduct that the player's not maybe flatting just super wide. He's been playing fairly tight. He's also very short, but now Ben has a gut shot with his ace high. Let's see if he does any bang. Look at that. I mean, the guy slips it over with King four and Ben makes Broadway. So sick. And Francesco, you know, I mean, he has no reason to believe he, he doesn't have the best hand at this point, but also realizing it's hard to get called by worse. So he does check. So what kind of sizing, what kind of sizing do you like here? Do you like trying to make the guy decide for his whole stack or do you like trying to steal like two blinds or three blinds from the guy? I think he's going going small because he realizes he just doesn't really have anything. But he also could go for the whole enchilada. Although this player, as played, I think that the best play would be to go sort of smallest. Like, what does he really have? He doesn't have a queen. He doesn't, you know, it's, I mean, I guess he could have a king, which he does. But it's kind of weird. He checked, checked. So he goes for a half pot. And this is actually maybe just perfect. I'm sorry. He went a little more than half pot, but half of yeah. Francesco's stack. So this might just get called. I mean, you can't can't blame him for calling, right? He he, he has yeah. top pair checked down to the river. Actually, I, I'm just trying to see how he could actually fold, right? It seems like it would be an absurd fold. I mean, at the rate these guys are going, these guys are playing so above the rim. I, I wouldn't put it past him. He does yeah, ultimately call, and yeah, there's, you don't have much choice there. It's, it's. I I would have lost just the same as he did. Yep. Yeah. So Ben gets the chips after all. Really tied for first with let me alone right now. Let me alone with threes. Can't just start jamming because of Nick has a big stack, but he's really had a had a nice final tail. I've been honestly super impressed with his play. I mean, he's been very fast and aggressive. So. Um, very interesting, very interesting yeah. start to this say, table. Say goodbye, Ionis. I'm sorry about your luck. He folded sevens before. There's a 500k stack. I could see him not going all in here, and and Nick may just put him in. Which this is. Look at this. He goes for the min raise, and now Nick. He's going to fold. Probably, What's the difference? So the difference is thirty five thousand. Right. I think you're right. I think he is yeah. min raise folding. I think Nick's going to make it, yeah, three bet to a sizing. And now this is really disgusting. And look at that. I mean, sick. Good playing. Really sick. It's very good playing, guys. It, it is, but it's also you you open yourself up. Again, Josh, for us, we see the cards, right? Like, you know, my logic thinking would be to just shove two because you do, like, what does Nick do with ace four suited there? He's probably going to put right. him in the cage as well. So, you know, there's, there's the pros and cons, but ultimately just yeah. realizing how short – that that player is that he decided that it wasn't worth, you know, putting that 35 K on the line with, with fives. So, um, cheers to him, but you know, you gotta be careful. It's a dangerous, dangerous game. I think in this spot right here, and I'm sure that this line is better, but I think I would have just shoved here. Um, expecting my opponent to, put me on a weak hand and expect my opponent to just think, Oh, the other guy over there has 500,000. He thinks I can't call with anything. And, you know, he has ace Jack or something and, you know, you get the guy to call it off. Yeah. I, the same token though, like the thing is Bruxo has to be so tight. Cause like he literally, I don't know if he wouldn't call, I don't think he would call ace Jack in that right. spot. So yeah, it's it's um, it's I try to give my opponent the opportunity to make a mistake. And yeah. but you know, and that's why I struggle against wow, look at these hands. Uh, here's this is nuts. I think Joe wow. is gonna get an opportunity to fold here. Well, so this will be interesting if Nick flats with the ace king suited or decides uh that he is gonna just just isolate because um, this will be curious, but what a hand for Ace King, I and mean, what a, what a spot to wake up with, with like basically no chips. So he's got what four eighty. Yeah, he's got like three and a half blinds. And Nick now will he reopen the action, make it like a million, or does he just call? Yeah, all of it. Okay. And wow, Chow gonna be able to get off the hook here, most likely. 
I don't see how he's going to call this, although this is pretty sick. Right? If Nick had made it a million, Josh, what does Jow do? <laughs> I don't know. It's, that's, that's what have been that really interesting. Yeah, that really would have been interesting. I mean, he's spinning. There's future game. No, this is a guy as well. Jow is someone who is not afraid. Look, he understands ICM. Oh, he goes for it. Nick is wow. going to, so he, so Jow's like, you know what? I think I'm ahead of the range. I'm playing for 10 million. That's worth so much. If I can get that stack right now, it's worth, you know, yep. hundreds and hundreds of thousands. So he is at risk though with uh queen. We see the King gone. So ACE King, ACE King being shared and look at this. Hats off, hats off to Nick. Yo, is this guy going to fold? No way. If he, no way. For 35 grand. and But no, he has ace king. He can't fold. But I'm just saying, yeah. like, it's actually yeah. crazy. If he, <laughs> yeah, if he had, like, ace jack or something. Yeah, or if he, if he had only made it, like, 290 or 300 instead of all of it, you know, and leave himself a little more. I mean, it's literally all his chips. But listen, I've seen crazier things. He is in, though. Ace king and oh, Nick uh, Jow. Jow. He needs some help. Oh, goodness. There's oh, a, wow. club a, yeah, club there's a club sweat. A club sweat. It's, it's black. Yeah. It's black. Safe. Wow. Nick got full money's worth on the sweat. And we are going to see a double. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Not a double knockout. We're going to see Zhao go out. So that is unbelievable. He does have over $10 million on GG earnings alone. <laughs> but he, huge. Absolutely you know, huge. You gotta, you gotta take your hat off to the guy. It's he's trying to win the tournament. He could have yep. folded and expected his pay jump, and he still would have been in fourth or fifth, fourth chip position. But he's going for the win, and you gotta, you know, you gotta respect that. And he's, I'm sure, he's pretty irritated right now. But uh, you know, hats off to the kid. It's a hell of yeah, an accomplishment job. to finish eighth in this tournament yeah javier definitely is someone you'll you will be seeing at the world series i believe multiple bracelet winner he's got an unbelievable resume really nice guys had him on my podcast as well and just a just like one of those great people you can just tell he's just got a big heart hard worker uh just all positive things to say about him so congrats on another score and i'm sure we'll be seeing a lot of you at the world series and here top pair versus open-ended and ben is facing a big bet let's just give it up Wow. Yeah, I think that's, that's part nice. of the it, it's a part of a testament to Nick Mamoni too, that seeing that he's aggressive, realizing he's gonna be doing it in his opinion with much wider hands there, like ace jacks and you know, some other hands. So I, I, I would love to talk to to look at that ace queen more. Um, but that's definitely a tricky, tricky spot, Josh. What what do you think you would have done with Ace Queen? I'd I, it's so hard to tell. Um, I don't know. I, I want to say that I would have gone with it um, just because for multiple reasons. Um, one, the talent at the table is extremely good. And what you can do with a big pile of chips uh it's worth a lot, um, but I don't know. Third or fourth chip position is, I don't know. I, I probably would have gone. I would have been like, oh, this fucking guy has got two eights and he's trying to get it in and, you know, uh, he's trying to isolate the short stack and. Yeah, yeah. it's tri it's tricky. I'll tell you what, look at this. Is. This could. This could be a double knockout as well. Ace king against queens and ace nine. Either way, ace nine is in a world of hurt. Going to need a ton of help, especially when queens comes along. But I mean, look, if anyone could make an insane lay down, we saw this player fold sevens in a couple spots. I mean, this would be out of, uh, off the cusp. But I mean, he does see the flat from Ben. I mean, uh, wow. So there's kind of a. Seven. Flatting is very, is very, um, I, I would be very weary of the button flat. Um, it's just yeah, a I spot think... that you don't flat much. 
Um, I mean, Queens is just so strong, though. Like, he ultimately does put it in. He's going to get a little unlucky that Ben actually has Ace King, uh, right. and he is at risk in a flip. But in this guy here, this is also another spot where he puts the majority of the stack, but this is not looking good for him. Ace nine off. Um, you know, it is a 45K pay jump, but he would be in the big blind next hand with the blind and a half, and he has an ace. Yeah, no, you just, you just got to go. I mean, it's just yeah. You cannot, you cannot fold to give your. He's got three million if somehow he can win this hand, you know, versus two hundred k. So, but this is uh, this is asking a lot. He's gonna need some diamonds, some straights, or some nines. Otherwise, we are gonna be seeing a player out. And Queen's gonna like to see that they're sharing the ace at least. I mean, he's really taking some time here, Josh. He's running some numbers. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's. I can't imagine any world where you fold i mean he's basically getting 15 16 to 1 on you. i've i've been wrong every other decision so i this and this I, I love i love poker so much i honestly love like it's so crazy i can do so many like streams and commentaries or or things and like i get surprised all the time and and sometimes it's because I'm wrong and sometimes it's because I'm right. Or sometimes it's just because, you know, it's a full moon, but there's some crazy, I've seen some crazy stuff in my day. Let's see what's happening here. I mean, he's taking a long, I may, I'm getting uncomfortable. Okay. I'm starting to worry that he may pitch it in here, but we are going to see five with the ace nine Queens to that ace King. And you see that Give us some sweat. He's got a little something. Oh, okay. he's got a little okay. something. Oh my God. That, that would just be too much to take right now. That would be a lot to take. No. Oh, it, oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, okay. So with that, Ben, with a little bit of a hiccup on the flip over there, he says, so sick. We do lose another player. So we are guaranteed. There he is, Francesco Benitez, uh, 6 million in earnings on GG. Very strong people player. people that I've never heard of have just won millions and millions of dollars. Hey, GG brings dreams. It comes to reality. And here there's some big hands coming into reality. Here Look at go. this. Ace Jack suited with the Say raise, goodbye. though. Say goodbye to another one of your horses. I don't know, man. Do you think he's just going to rip no it? No way. Yes. He has 10 blinds. How do you not rip this? I need to get yeah. in the lab. I yeah, well, he, he, is, he is ripping it. But it's, you know, this is, you're right. He's in trouble. He is in trouble right here. So we see a flat call. And wow, this Bruno. is a lot of gambling from Lev. Why to would you not to... want that guy out of the pot? Why I don't understand. I would love to hear his thought process here. Oh, he just snap folded. Hey, Bruno Bru Bruxo folded anyway. Yeah, he, he wasn't having anything to do with it. And now termination. Doesn't get the flop he wants, and Ace King suited is in a unbelievable situation. He's going to have to hit a jack or make a running straight that is not a diamond, a jack that is not a diamond. So what has he got? Two outs, correct? Two outs with two cards to come. That is yeah, grim. Two, two, two. And Tormination is got a lot of chips in there. Same thing, just the math, SPR, stack to pot ratio. Um, you know, I think he's he's – trying to think is there any merit to checking uh do i just shove it i have ace jack this guy called me what does he have um when you start thinking about the hands that that let me alone has though you're not doing too well with ace jack here josh yeah it's... but but four million up for grabs we're gonna go and see a turn in a river got two outs one to come there's the percentages and it oh, is anyways. not paint you, and that is your it. Horses, your horses are getting, your horses are going out fast. It's, it's, termination is terminated. 915,000 already in GG Poker earnings. That should shoot him up over a million. And Josh, we are down to five. So it is, uh, you know, three major stacks, two other stacks a little bit shorter. Who do I have left? What do I have? I have Ben and have Ben and, uh, the Ionis, Ionis. Const Ionis Constus. We're probably just wow. butchering everybody's names. 
yeah, this is this is apologies all around for that. But hey, we're doing our best and we're we're having fun and we're learning and we're and we're witnessing some great poker and some also interesting spots for sure. There are definitely some spots I want to check on. This, yeah, um, this has definitely been cool. Some of the stuff that we've seen. I, I just I, I don't think that inducing a shove in the last situation from the under the gun razor, I don't think inducing that guy to shove can be correct. I think that enough chip that there was enough chips in there to isolate the three better and just play the pot against him because you're going to get a lot of hands to fold. Um, you know, you, I think, I think you want sevens and eights to fold in that situation and, or I do. And um, I, 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 I would love to hear his thought process because I'm sure that this guy is 10 times the no level player that I am. And it would, it would really be interesting. Yeah, I think that's, um, that, that would be fun to kind of go back and, and get some of these guys, maybe get them on yeah. for, um, you know, that'd be cool to do like a review session where you get yeah. to like talk for five, pick, like pick a few hands and then get exactly. to get them on to ta tell you a couple of spots, uh, yeah, each player. I mean, obviously and what they were thinking and, um, it would be a very good learning tool. Here we go again. The chip leader. Ace four okay. suited gives gives a bit of a, a light call and to the river. He is a big favorite. Oh, no. Ace 10. Oh, oh no. no. Oh no. Oh, he's clear. Is that he's clear? Wow. <laughs> it did look it did look dicey. <laughs> okay. All right. Ace ten doubled up. No, they chopped Wait. it. Oh my it goodness, it was a chop. Queen. Wow. I was just thinking, why is he only at 2.6 million? Yeah. But yeah. there you go. Yeah, sharper weight. Man. Yeah, that was that 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 I didn't see that chop on that that there way. There will be some there will be some violence between your guys here. Yeah. This could move some chips around. Let's see though. Oh, he goes with the limp. Yeah. I guess. Man. Man, that's really good because the only thing, like the strength that he has to show from playing this deck size and raising, it's, I really, really like this line that he took. And let's see if he, you know, pulls through with, if, if he continues with the. He gave him a chance. He put a huge bet out there. That's right. 700,000. But, you know, the other side of that is if he had raised, he would have got three bet even much more and maybe had to fold um, or even call, right? Just call the same thing, have to really not be able to fold and now would have lost a lot more chips. So, you know, as played, Ben's probably going to get off here pretty cheap. Yeah, I mean, it was a big, big raise, four and a half X or so uh, pre off the limp, but, you know, two jacks here. SPR two to one. He's got twice what's in the pot in his stack. So let's see if he just decides he's going to go big here. I mean, maybe want to protect against spades. You know, I, maybe that, it's it's very well played by Ben. Well, I would have liked to yeah. see um, a smaller bet, obviously, because he had the hand so dominated. Um, but because that that flop does not hit his range. And if he if he goes smaller, he couldn't do something out of bed. So I think yeah. I would have gone a little bit smaller, just trying to induce. Yeah, he also, you know, Ben could easily have like king queen or spade somehow. So you know, it's it's an important pot for for our friend there, and he is up to four point seven. So Brux got a little. Bruxel got a little unlucky not to double that ace 10 to ace four had to fade the river chop or a four and as it plays ben is in third your two guys are first second and uh this is uh probably gonna be a, a hand that he sticks on here for a lot of a lot of runouts but let's see goes for the call seven pairs and nick may just have had a one and done there right he's got no equity after this turn card does give up give up at least momentarily Jack four has a hammer lock on the hand if he can get the showdown. Yeah. 
Yeah, so I think that's something also the great players, you know, they they go for bluffs, they pick spots, but then they know when to sort of surrender. And that was not a time to just kind of tell a story. Just gave it up there. On the turn, we are still five-handed. All players have locked up over a quarter, a million, 260,000. Thank you all for joining us. Please hit that thumbs up. Leave your thumbprint on this epic prize pool. And Knight, thanks for joining us. Josh Arie is the current and reigning. He's the reigning WSOP player. Are you kind of, are you, are you uh, not upset? I mean, it's like kind of nice to be the reigning WSOP player of the year. Do you feel any pressure to get in there? Just kind of that we'll, last year. Was we'll sucked. get back. We'll get back to that. This is, this is a huge hand for, I mean, there's a lot of equity going on in this pot right here. This pot's probably going to get all in free flop and uh, it could change the, you know, it, it could change the path of this tournament. Wow. Decides I, not to three bet. Somehow is in the lead after letting that extra equity with the queen nine suited. So he had three, all three overs working against him in this pot, but somehow he gets a 10 high flop and you know, he's, uh, he's got a nice, nice position here, but yeah, I would have liked to see a three bet. And fourth, so there's 77,000 in equity or 77,000. And prize pool difference between fourth and fifth. Um, I think that Benjamin's going to appeal here. There's lots of cards, yeah. And I think Lev's just probably going to let it go. Yeah, he could. He could also put a big raise in, with, just based on how he plays and so aggressive. But yeah, I think that makes the most sense with the bet and the call. He does get out of the way. And See, now this is a tricky and... spot. Oh, sorry to interrupt. This is a tricky spot that that Ionis got himself in. He let the big blind come in, taking the price and the money. Now he's completely unsure if this guy has an eight or a ten. So now you're caught here guessing, and I I, I feel like you you have to continue, but. Ben could put ICM pre pressure on him with Bruxo being so much shorter. Um, if he if he had check raise on the turn, but now if if Ben bets, it's just gonna he uh, Ionis is just gonna call and win the pot. Yeah, I think Ben really has this player pegged for his style of play and where he's at. But this is the interesting part. This line looks very weak from from. Ionis, so I mean Ben definitely could take like a, a stab here. You know, it kind of looks like he has nines or something. Like he he just called pre, he bet the flop and then check turn. Um it does, yeah. it looks a lot like nines. Yeah, but either way, Ben decides that he's not gonna go telling the story here. I mean, you got to believe he's going to value bet this, right? I, mean, I don't think to... so. I think I think he's done with it. I think he doesn't want to deal with the check raise, just the irritation of it. Because if he's, you know, it's seventy seven thousand. If he wins this pot, it puts him up over to over six million. And I I would be happy with the line I had taken. I would have been happy checking the river there, but that's why these guys are so much better. I think I think more so the fact that Ben checked turn and river, he just felt like he was able to bet because, you know, Ben could have led that turn for sure, the pairing of the eight, and he didn't, and then had another chance, and it's more likely that he's going to check back. And uh, let me alone has been so aggressive, gets a walk with aces, which is frustrating, but he does have so the chip lead. Yeah, do you look live if you get a walk? Do you, do you look if you get in the big blind? Um, do you take a look I, here? I, I look before it gets to me. Um yeah, I, I I look before it action is on me just because I don't want to look at a hand and be in shock and not know how to proceed. Um, so I I like to look prior and um, just be ready for the different scenarios. Wow, wow, this your boy is really turning it on. Um, he went from a very short stack, all in with queens against ace king, and now he's up to 40 bigs, 40, 45 bigs. Yeah, I mean, it's, he's, 
he's, he's in there in the game yeah and this is a spot where well, i guess yeah he's just going to shove so queen eight suited although he's pretty sticky this is this would be a very light peel for that uh, it's not that many chips but yeah just not a spot to call off so uh all right, everyone's and still look at in. Nick. Nick is just quietly going about his business, and he's sitting at nine point nine million and hasn't really been involved in any of these tricky situations. Yeah. So I mean, Ionis does have it's his thirteenth super millions appearance in season two. Um, four caches and definitely he does have a final table in season one and over 3.7 millions in GG earnings. So you now he's definitely capable to, to take, take okay. this down. Caching four out of 13 in this tournament is pretty special. I mean, this is, this is the, the elite of the elite when it comes to no limit hold'em. And uh Yeah. I mean, no, there's no there's, question about it. Yeah. And cashing right around 30% is uh, is pretty special. Yeah, Ben Ben's resume, for to give you an idea, on this season two, he has 22 Super Millions appearances. He has three final tables, seventh cash. Uh, and also in season one, he had a win in two final tables. So, um, you know, Ben is – that's why I picked him first, even though he didn't have the most chips, although I know Nick – is no slouch and let me alone also a bracelet winner it's got some great results so this is a, it's a tough I'm group gonna see if i i'm gonna google this guy's name and see if i recognize it oh uh, uh, let let me alone yeah no yeah, it doesn't uh, give a, ben, ben, benjamin roll oh uh, really yeah he's yeah i'm sure you've seen him because of the raise your edge course and stuff like it's around and he's he's been around yeah. and he's definitely yeah i definitely, definitely recognize him yeah, I think he's going to get to Vegas. I'm not positive. I forgot what he said. Um, but yeah, he usually he, he doesn't play much live poker. Blind on blind. This is the most fun, I think, spot in poker. And we see Queen 5 off take a 4x open here. And King 10, one of those kind of tricky ones here to play because you kind of know that you should have the best hand, but you also, you know, it's a, it's a dicey spot. And look at this. Wow. Queen 5 gets rewarded. Look at the snap bet third pot. I mean, it shows you the power of this play, though, Josh, because he he happens to make trips. But like, what is he, he does this with Jack Five? Bets four x pre, and then bets on the flop. And you see the King Ten get sticky, kind of rightfully wow, so, right? This card. Yeah. Oh, he, he, man, uh, that's where I'm just doing stuff wrong. I feel like. The ace is such a good card that it hits your opponent so often that I would have fired again with the ace. Like, this is a curious one, too. So, like, the board, the flush comes in, definitely a hand his opponent could have, and he just goes huge bet there. Yeah. This guy's this guy fun. Fun to watch. And this is a, there's some ICM for sure right here, Josh, because, you know, I honest recognizing that Bruxo is next up on the chopping block and a big, big pay jump. So Ace 10 going to limp. Let's see what Nick Nick probably going to raise this. I wonder what how he responds. Does he just call? Because this is where you get in some dicey spots. Ace 10 off yeah. out of position. But, you know, the for chips. Oh, well, he flops pretty, pretty nicely. Yeah, this is where, like, the range war, where, I mean, this is supposed to fit Nick's range, so he has to continue. And this might be a three-barrel. I mean, Nick might come three barrels here. I'd be interested to see, like, if a seven comes, what Nick does. I think Nick was really just trying, you know, he's trying to fold out all those low pairs. He realizes yeah. that he knows about the ICM. So he's just kind of like, what does he do with eights or I'm sorry, like sevens or fives or fours. He's probably threes. He's just going to get to fold. Um, but other than that, when he gets called, I think he's going to know that it's very dicey that his opponent likely has a sex. Now this card though, this could be interesting, right? Because you could put 
your opponent on some tough ace acts. Like, what does ace five suited do? So I, I like this bet, and this is part of his plan, not just a one and done. And and now, if you're Ionis, this is very dicey because if you <laughs> call here, you're basically saying you got to call all in on the on the not the river. Necessarily, I I. Well, I'm just saying the stack God, to pot ratio, right? There would, there would be 4.6 now in the middle, and he's going to have 3.3 getting checked to. I'm just saying, like, you kind of have to – not saying you have to call it off, but I'm just saying you're – you kind of realize the news that, oh, my goodness, uh, what a – Please what check a, it. Oh. Please check it. Oh, yeah. Please check. Wow, these guys are good. Go ahead. Go with the whole thing. No, don't do it, Nick. I have you. Nick, the right play. Probably the right play because he gets him off. A lot. I and mean, this is this is sick. But Nick, eight high on the river, four point seven in the mil in the middle. And I mean, now I'll tell you what, Nick does put the brakes on, rightfully job, so. Man. He would have been look at Ionis what? coming up with eight million now, tied for <laughs> third. I love that that gift there from Nick. You can see <laughs> yeah. he's it's like shit, what a wow. run out that was. Yeah, it would. It I mean, would have been really interesting. Like, if a blank comes, it would have been very interesting because he definitely would have put him to the test. I believe. Yeah, I think you're right. I think he was going to shove on some fair amount of rivers there. So, um, big hand for Ionis. Now, he is, is in there. This is going to be interesting. Like, all these stacks are very playable. I mean, they're sitting on the lowest. You know, four guys are playing almost fifty big blinds, and then there's just this one little guy. Um, this it's going to be interesting the 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 game theory that the four players bring attacking this Brookso fellow. Yeah, easy shove, and Ben's got he says good luck. He's got the seven deuce off, gives him a little little pump fake, little scare, but uh, he will be giving the fold here, and they are. Again, guaranteed 260, but starting to get really healthy on the jumps. Yeah, the chip stacks have evened out at the top. Yeah, there was a few years ago I hired a coach, and this is like the most crucial point of a tournament when your hourly rate is so insane. And it's just uh, crucial to not make a mistake that changes your hourly by thousands and thousands of dollars an hour. So it's, it's going to be interesting to see, you know, who's trying to win, who's trying to ladder and uh, see who comes out on top. All right. Well, ace, Jack, King, Queen, Ben, and we got 10 blinds. So probably just going to be a shove. And now, um, ben, you know he's he's in a he's in a weird spot. He's in fourth, that was but definitely a weird spot. Gonna be giving it up. So he's Bruxel's getting too. he's getting a lot of getting a lot of fake, a lot of teases trying to people okay. mess with him. But he's he's got to be the one to. He's saying, "Please stop." He does not enjoy it. He wants to. <laughs> he, he doesn't. He doesn't want to be all in and called right now. And and leave me alone. Who's been a bit quiet after just being so aggressive so often is back with the chip lead and in a commanding position. Let's see if Nick, the Jack nine here, what he's going to do. We should see a flop here. Yeah. yeah. Now we're going to see like how often Lev is. Yeah. I didn't think he would continue there. It's just the flop just doesn't hit his range. It hits the big blind so often. But then a great turn card for Lev. Yeah, King High I, is I, I good. Mean, I, I think that, yeah, I thought this was going to happen. I, I, I felt that a full pot size bet was coming. And um, I, I don't like the raise there. You're not getting called by much. Um, so it's like, what is he going to call with? And when you're raising there, it's pretty apparent that there's no sets. Um, there's possibly two pair hands. It doesn't make a difference, but I think that the raise there doesn't accomplish much. I agree with you, but I, I could say this. Let me alone is goes for 
goes for value, goes for yeah. blood. But I agree. I, I mean, you could even run into, you know, um, I mean, I guess the only thing is you could say, does he just have more five sevens somehow there that he just thinks that could he ever get Nick to fold a five? I mean, that's what we're saying. I don't think so. Yeah, so. I don't think so either. And, and you're just not getting paid by, I mean, I don't even think you're getting paid by two pair there. I don't know. It's possible. Um, but it's never a bluff. Like what are, when somebody raises me, like the first thing that I ask myself is what are their bluffs? And I just don't feel like uh, Lev had many bluffs in that situation. All right. We see a snap shove and Nick here with ace 10 suited for 10 blinds. I mean, I, I just don't see how you can give this up. Although he kind of realizing, you know, I think it's not an amazing spot, but still like you're just going to be flipping your beating hands. Yeah. Um, 10 blinds. I think, I'm, I think I'm angrily dropping the chips in the pot here and just say, oh, fuck it. Um, yeah. It would be an amazing, I mean, Brooks hasn't been out of line once. He hasn't, he hasn't raised and folded to a three bet. I'm sure that he's looking at his, does GG, uh, do players have HUDs? Yeah, so you can see that okay. number 27, 27. That's the, how many hands they played. There is some okay. basic stats. And ace 10 suited is going to need a lot of help. Possible chops. Four ball. Four ball. Uh, four, four for a chop, or else it would need a 10. Not going to happen. Us, and look at that. Just one more card. <laughs> it's uh, Nick now, short of stack, five handed still. Let me alone separating a bit. And then you got Ben and Ionis kind of in the middle. So, you know, for chips right now in our wager, even and out a little bit. You still definitely are the big favorite, but got a shot. Ace Jack, Ace. Five. So I was asking about the World Series. This is fast action, Josh. I want to say, know, how is. do you? How, it's hard to even get a anything but the play here. What? What? Tell me about what you're feeling for the World Series. Are you excited? Do you feel like kind of you know you're putting your title um, on the line? Yeah, for the first time in many years, I feel a little nervous. Um, obviously. Um, I, I want to, I, I don't play for a living anymore. Um, I play because I love competing. Um, so I feel a little nervous that I want to prove that, you know, last year wasn't a fluke. There's part of me that wants to do that. And um, I, I just, I, I want to prove to myself that I can go out and I can have a solid World Series without you know, catching the deck the entire year. It's it's easy to go out there and play solid when you're catching good cards nonstop. But um, I know that it's not going to be the same as last year. And I just I just want to prove to myself that I can continue to compete. Um, I just, I, I love competing. And so I'm going to spend probably the first two to three weeks going really hard and, uh, you know, evaluate my play after that um i'm really good at self-evaluating um i'm really honest with myself so if i see that i'm playing bad and and um not taking taking advantage of situations that i'm usually capable of taking advantage of here's another action flop um but uh yeah i'm, I'm gonna go hard and uh we'll you know we'll talk again in two or three weeks and see what goes from there Beautiful. Yeah, it's it's fun. I mean, I yeah, I guess it, it got listen, no one can take away that year you had last year, no matter what happens, but I, I get it. Right. Oh, this is actually a sick flop because he's double gutted. I mean, this guy's a creative, aggressive player, and this is definitely a board that he is gonna be super interested in. And he does take the check there raise. It's it's unfortunate. Like if you think about his range of hands, there's so many jacks, queens, and kings. I know he blocks jacks and queens, but there's so many hands that it's it's he can re really call uh, with he can really call the race here with about half of his uh raising range that he would have had to fold so i don't dislike the play and now we're just going to get it in probably yeah i mean this the sick, gonna, the, the sick I mean, part is this is a it. pretty this is a scary looking board. If your opponent showed aggression on the flop and this is the what turn. Can what can ace king beat here? Ace king can beat jack queen only. Ace queen? I I think that even ace queen wouldn't have check raised. And ace queen might have four bet all in pre-flop. I think he's going to win it here. 
This is crazy hand. Yeah, definitely could. I mean, this player's played pretty solid, um, cautious. And I mean, to be fair, I, I can't blame him for, you know, what? Yeah, exactly. Why is Let Me Alone putting so many chips in the pot right now? Poker is amazing. It is. It's it like, is. It, it, it originally, it looked like a spot where the only thing he, he had seven outs to, to win the pot. And now this card comes and he's probably going to win the pot, which is amazing. Um, if, if Ionis finds the call here, it will be, you know, amazing squared. Uh, it's, I, I just don't think it's possible to find a call here. Yeah, at the same time, it's like he's so high up in his range. But man, this is you're right. Like, what is this? Uh, he's got. Does he just have? Does Does Let Me Alone have Ace Nine? You know, like what What hand does he have? He check raises the flop. There's the only draw is Jack Queen, really right. on the flop. I guess he or Jack Nine, right? Jack Nine. This Jack would be a savage. Suited, maybe. Yeah, it would be a savage play to to do that. So I guess that's what he's weighing out here. Seven nine. Somehow, if he had that, I don't know if he would take that line or raise call the three bet and then you know play it like that. Uh, so this is this is fascinating. Yeah, the bad thing is a seven nine arrived. You know, it's... right? That, that's what I'm saying. So it's like even like, but is that a real a real draw that he that he would play? I don't and, think and, so. I don't think yeah. so. Well, I think this. I, I think mean, he's I guess fold. he's the chip leader. He's the chip leader in the in the cutoff, and I mean seven nine is just as possible as jack nine. Yeah, seven nine suited. Sick. This is sick. He's using a ton of time here. I can't blame him. This is a not a fun spot, but if aggression he here, aggression if he so here, often rewarded. I'm gonna say that. Well, that's easy to say because he's gonna have all the chips. But this is this is sick. This is, this is poker on so many levels right now from both players. This is a fun hand, definitely a fun hand. Now the curious part is like, does Lev like what does he do on a five? Is he is he shutting down or is he going to barrel? I mean, maybe he just decided on the the jack or the queen. He decides to take this line too. And Nick Mamoni just. Dropping in gifts, he he see he feels the excitement. <laughs> oh my gosh! What do you think here, Josh? I think he's gonna fold. I, I think he's gonna fold too, and I feel really bad for him because he just got taken to the streets by the big stack. I would love to see him call, just because it's so amazing. Like finding, having the ability and the gamble to find the call here is amazing. He's taking a lot of time. I mean, look at the other players' clocks. He's got 220 oh left gosh. right now. I mean, this is a real, real, real chess clock here. I mean, the more he tanks, the more I think he may call. Just seems like I know. I mean, he's not. Oh, oh he, he did. He did. It. he did it. Be clean. Wow. Stay clean. That's amazing. Wow. 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 Hats so off. So sick. Oh my gosh. Unbelievable. That's a high level hand. Let me alone, <laughs> says Tilt. Holy and, crap. And now Nick with the ace queen is going to get to surf this in for 16. Uh, and uh, Let Me Alone is going to have a little adversity all of a sudden. Uh, what, what is it? Um, so 2.9 more. So that's another 15 blinds. Yeah, it's. I, yeah, it's. Wow, that guy came to play today. Holy shit. Wow. Good playing, sir. Holy shit. I found a guy that I want to bet on at the World Series. 
Uh, yeah, I love Let Me Alone's game too. This is and and this guy. I mean, this is this is a lot of great players. I'm excited. I, I gotta say, I'm getting FOMO for the WSOP. Like being over here in Europe, I gotta say, I'm like, man, I, I just it's so fun. And there's not like online poker. It's amazing. GG's amazing. It's so fun. But live poker too. It's just something about getting those chips in your hand deep in a deep in a tournament. So yeah, let us know if you guys are going to the world series let us know if you're enjoying the stream we are having a great time josh just told you that he hasn't done a lot of poker studying or work in a while so he's getting caught up and seeing some cool hands i definitely think doing commentary and or even just reviewing watching these type of streams really is fun you know it's a cool way to kind of learn and see what people are doing and uh fun. we are getting to see see some big action here i'm googling this guy right now let's see that's that's not him Mamoni is at. This guy won the party poker live millions. Oh, this guy's which, a freaking beast. Which one? Ionis Constus. Yeah, yeah this I think guy. That's, he's Greek, right? Uh, yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, it's a young yeah, kid, probably 28. Yeah, these guys. Yeah, I think I think it's who I'm thinking of. For some reason, I'm thinking of as another guy, but yeah, tough tough players, man. Some great players out there. Searching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's exactly who I asked. Very, very nice hand there. Uh, so chip leader fourteen. 0.5 million now. Let me alone. Still in second after that hand. He is going to defend. So we see a flop. King, king, three. Queen, nine. Small bet. Sometimes all it needs. And he is on his way. Over 15 million now. Ben CB been quiet. Yeah, it's, a lot of times it just takes one hand. And here he goes again. Well, unfortunately for... Him, nobody's got anything. But, you know, he won that flip. Uh, the ace king, ace nine, 10 10, uh, ace king, ace nine, queen queen, uh, hand all in three ways. And, you know, he did what he had to do since then and, and really made one of the toughest decisions that I've ever seen and, and guessed right. Yeah. And then still had to full or hold. I'm sorry. He was, uh, Pretty good shape though, but still, still some cards that could have hurt him there. And let me alone not taking his foot off the gas, getting dealt in, but has now raised a lot of hands and back to 10 million. So still plenty of chips. All right. So Nick with the ace three off has a bit of a decision. Look at that. Folds fold, ace three man. off on the button. Good fold. And Brock's going to go ahead and sneak in there with Ace Jack, try to get Ben to, to bite here. Four deuce off. Definitely, definitely can. Got him. <laughs> yeah, right, this ben. stacks. This, this stack size is going to be just a shove. Ben snap folds. Well played, Brock, though. God, these guys just make really good decisions every time. We might uh this is a tough spot in a small blind you know it's either you can't really call from the small blind and you can't really just raise it to 1.2 and then play i think he's gonna shove yeah 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 well played yeah nice hand there ben sticking in it there's a look at the payouts you can see at the lower right but blown up on the big stream Screen there, so seven thirty-five up top. Lot to play for. Lot to play for, and look at the aces right there. Oh, Fives no. decides to flat call, not three bet. And uh, wow, this is uh, well, I guess not not too much trouble left. Should no. get in, but it's playing small pairs out of the small blind are are really tricky. Um, I would have much rather seen like uh five big blind like make it like 1.2 and maybe fold um or make it one but not maybe fold make it 1.2 and fold but 
it's, I, I don't, I mean, you know, he's also set mining at that point. So I don't know his, his, his road was probably better. It, it didn't really matter, you know, playing two fives, three way doesn't really matter, I guess. Look at this shop, 610 suited, just goes ahead and rips it in. Uh, although Nick is the shortest stack, he decides that it's the best play for that hand. Doesn't want to limp, doesn't want to raise fold, and uh, two fives, just going to pick it up. Blinds are up, 125, 250. Is that right? I mean, the blinds are huge. Yeah, 125, 250. Yeah, so Nick's only playing like 12 blinds. 15 blinds. Yeah. It's so nice when you're around that 12 blind area to be able to pick up some chips like that without showdown. It's it's interesting the big blind Annie is not the same as the big blind. You see that? 150. Uh, I didn't notice that. No. Wow. All right. Is it is it a big blind in or is it just taking 50 from every player, actually? Taking 30 from every player. I'm sorry. Yeah. What, good math is hard. That's right. So there's, uh, yeah, that, is that what it's doing? It's not, it's not having the big blind post. No, I haven't 50? noticed. I, I haven't noticed. But yeah. I just we'll noticed that as check. well. That's in very interesting. Um, okay. Well, look, big blind Annie's not as relevant online, right? Josh, it's at the world series with eight players, nine players, every hand putting it out. It helps, but online it doesn't really. Right. Yeah, Make you don't a difference. Need a big blind. So. All right, so ace four has the lead. King eight, thinking if it wants to keep telling a story here, it does. And ace four off picked up some equity, but decided well that that, yeah. God. Man, this could it be my the caboose, Josh? The back, the last guy that that he was in eighth. Or ninth, nine yeah. of nine, the last guy in the snake draft has now got the gun, and he is almost double second. So sitting pretty nice. Ace three suited decides to just fold. Yeah, I could see him just because of the the ICM at this point. I could see him really getting to around 20 million without much trouble. Yeah, decides not to take that two, three off spot against an aggressive player who he figures probably going to be limp calling a lot and now we see the ace ace six does go for a bet that queen high snap call josh wow it's really good i think he knows yeah these guys are just so good yeah three high just wait white flag queen jack good Queen high, ace, ace, nine, nine, queen plays. All right, so ace, queen off and two sixes, couple real hands here. I think the sixes are going to find a fold here. It's just a weird stack amount. Like he's playing 18 big blind. Oh, he limped with the ace, queen. I think sixes would have shoved. What? Shove. I think sixes would have shoved on the open, but now this is, I'm curious how Ben will react to that limp. So he does go decide to just limp behind. Very interesting. I think he would have shoved on the open. They definitely make it tricky. Like they don't, they don't allow their opponent just to have an easy avenue to the correct play. It's, it's, it's come up a lot. Yeah, now ace queen wraps around that king. Nicely decides that he gets to have more sort of king queen. I don't know if he gets to rep ace king, but he does bet there and take it down. So ace queen showing a creative way to play yeah, that. These guys are really mixing it up. Yeah, this is. Super interesting. And King Do suited. Chip lead goes for the raise. King six off has the best hand to start, but out of position, tricky spot, and also two shorter stacks. So all things to consider here. 
I mean, his stack, third place pays 437, fifth place wow. 260. And look at this. He just takes the big little Josh. This is something we've been seeing more of. I've noticed lately. I was doing the Triton live commentary, seeing this on Super Millions. We do see some some big with the King, King X and they were so shocked they put us on the big screen after that that was that is a bit of a wild play right now into the chip leader just taking a stand with a very modest holding let me see what we got going on here i know there actually was a technical difficulty so let me see if i got some info for us here josh but uh, how about you take a moment before this comes up and tell me what are you most excited about the world series being at the new venue because there's so much history at the rio yeah, and, and being there but you know the one thing that, that sticks out in my mind is that the first year that the World Series was at um, at the Rio, I was fortunate enough to win a bracelet that year. And so I'm hoping that the same thing happens this year. Um, I don't know, I'm just excited to, to get out there and try to get comfortable in the new atmosphere. I, I got It got to where everything was just like, wow, wow. The fucking I mean, King Deuce read right through it. It's pretty sick, guys, and it's in big blinds. In big blinds at the moment, you guys get to see how many big blinds there are. This will switch back to chips momentarily. But, yeah, so tell me a little bit about um, what you're – yeah, with this new so venue. Me, uh, one, of the, one of the things that, that I – that is important to me when I'm playing live is feeling comfortable in my environment, feeling comfortable at the table – and playing in a new place is going to take that away from me because, uh, you know, from at the Rio, I was always comfortable. It's like you get into a routine, you know where your day ones are, you know where every room is, you know where the tables are. Like I could tell you where table 388 orange was, you know, shit like that. And it's just going to be a whole new getting used to it. Um, uh, I, I expect to take a little bit of time. I'm not going to um, expect too much of myself early. And if if I'm unable to get comfortable early, I'm not going to get too mad at myself. Um, but, you know, for me, live poker is, it's really important. I mean, as y'all can see, I don't make the GTO move every single time. Um, so it, it's important for me to, uh, do the little things better than the uh, other players do. And so I'm just going to take it slow. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a new experience. And uh, I, I, I hope that I can get myself into a situation um, where there's a lot of pressure when it's, and it's a lot of fun when it gets to like that, when it gets, uh, when those situations come up. So I look forward to the fun and the excitement of it. I love the world series. I always have. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a special time and special hand here for Ionis, who's definitely going to be out of line in Nick's mind with this stack. And Nick definitely could step into it here. I mean, I think, you know, his hand's too good to fold. Just a matter of does he want to raise or not. And if he does raise, of course, he'll get some bad news. Uh, I Scott. think his hand is too good. I think his hand has too much value to raise. Yeah. Um, I, 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 I'd like to see a flop with this hand um, and, and be able to make a decision later. Because the, At this, I mean, head up, head up with position, this hand has a lot of value. I and mean, unfortunately, he's, his his opponent's got the he's got the goods. But um, re raising but that's also hoping, yeah re raising it's, hoping it's, for a fold is not this isn't the answer. This this was not the answer. It's he's very rarely going to get a fold from his opponent here, and you know, unfortunately, I. I I would have liked to seen a flop and it could have cost me more. Wow. The fucking two Kings just called. Look at these. So sick. Now, now the guy's sick. Now the guy's sick that he just called with the two Kings. I mean, Nick has an avenue of possibly winning this hand. Wow. Is this, is this really how it's going? I mean, I don't, I mean, look at these guys. This guy is a sick puppy, man. I mean, the whole, like, He's just extracting value, gets like the worst possible flop and just hangs right in. And now, I mean, Nick has no equity on this board and he's I think sitting with there with any two. ace here. I think with any ace here, yeah, it's he was done with it. It's unfortunate. Um, but he these guys are so good. I'm confused and I see their cards face up. 
goes for a small bet on the river too, which makes sense as well. Pretty crazy. Just knows exactly where he's at. And I mean, just this is this has been this has honestly been a lot of fun to watch. And look, he's gonna show the, the level, king. The level of what these guys the, the level that these guys are able to get to with such an enormous amount of money on the line is really, really impressive. Like it would be so easy for the guys just to play their cards, you know, ladder up, you know, make a lot of money. And if they catch the deck, you know, possibly win. But these guys are thinking outside the box and, and really dissecting every situation. It's, it's really impressive. And it's also demoralizing at the same time, thinking of the fact that like these this is the level of competition that I'm going to be playing against in a week in a 25K. And uh, it, it makes me uh, a little concerned. Yeah. Yeah, there's some some great, great players out there. And then a lot of people have really made a lot of improvements. But again, live poker, too, it's just so fun, too. How uh, yeah. do you see you get a lot of different different styles? And yeah, there's and other factors. So there's 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 definitely other factors to, to even up the playing field. But, you know, the thought of sitting at this table right now in, in an online environment is definitely demoralizing. And this is troublesome for Nick, who can't get too selective and has to know that Ionis is opening so wide. Pretty sure as the shortest stack and with this particular hand, probably going to rip it. Although, I mean, he doesn't have a ton of fold equity. He does shove in and he is going to be at risk and behind. And Ionis, big Seven lead, ball? big hand. They say on oh, that is a great Eight. grim. No. Pair oh, the board. Chop some chop outs Pair for sure. Chop ability. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Very live, so, Nick. You deserve it. He's played great as well, but that was a dicey spot. And look at this 19 million for Ionis. I mean, he is really in a spot i mean no one wanted him to go out more than ben and bruxo who are you know this is a five gets 260 it's a it's a huge pay jump and nick is dropping all the emojis today he is he's had a full ride here's a walk we have got a player up to almost 20 million and he really does have a oh my i mean he's getting the best hands he's got the most chips in the best hands Take it, sir. Just take it. Does he go? He goes for the small raise. Yeah, I mean, this is just, it's all working, Josh. It's like you said last sub, last WSOP. When it's working, it's working. Yeah. It's just working for him right now. Nine, he's, 10 off. He's, he's got gonna a get license. To, he's going to get a walk here. I mean, he's, or not a walk, but he's going to raise and take it here, too. Yeah, these guys are just getting nothing to even fight oh, with. This is man, this guy's having fun. He's dancing around his desk, jumping up and down. What a swing on the ace king. You know, he calls and he's wrong, or the guy gets there, he's just out in fifth. Instead, he is potentially gonna pick up a whole bunch of extra money. He's got over 20 million. He's gonna I think he's gonna raise and I think. The deuces are probably going to fold, and the seven eights are going to peel. My guess, no, seven eight folded. So I guess that's is... an ICM. That's an ICM situation since the guy has two million. And now, okay, I think he. Oh. Tough spot again for king queen. And what's that eight blinds? But. He would call off about half his stack and put himself on the chopping block. So, you know, if King I'm, Queen's closing, I'm, the... I'm shoving here with the King Queen and I'm wrong again. <laughs> um, I, I would have shoved there just because it gave me a chance to solidify, like get back in contention to win the tournament. And if I did lose the hand, um, I mean, basically only a couple hands uh, dominate you. But this limping strategy with this with this weird stack sizes is really interesting. 
Brooks has done it a few times. He he lived with Ace Jack earlier. Um, yeah, I kind of saw against the sixes when 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 Ben had the two sixes. Or you know he had his queen. This is a six spot. He just knows the small blind never has a trap, and he just takes that. So I mean, the the good news is if Bruxo had raised, he would have got shoved on and lost more. But he still got okay. you know you can see the power of the big stack here and knows yeah. how to use it. Here's just going to be a shove again. I mean, this is the dream scenario. How much fun is this? He's got more than half the chips. 10, 15, 16 million in chips. Queen four off. I mean, these are, these are, this is where the bread and butter comes from a lot of players. Like, see if Nick goes with the queen four off, seeing that Bruxo doesn't really want to call here. It's also, you know, can just be the best hand. You're, you're going to get some folds, but. Can't blame Nick for folding there either. I think that's just a push or a fold, and he decides it's just not quite good enough. That's a big swing, though. You know, he's going to win that pot, and and now he's and yeah, man, three four off. So you know, I think another curious thing, Josh, is like having the chip lead in this in the situation there. You feel like oh, he could just rip it there, right? But he's got three four off. You still want to have like some equitable hands that when you right. get called, you're at least not just donating. So I think that sometimes people have a hard time when they get the chip lead. Cause when you get this situation, it's uh Oh, we got an all in and a call. Ace nine is ahead to queen eight. So quite a flop. There are some, oh, spicy oh, wow. turn. Got a lot of outs. Can Ben hold on? He does he not. There. So that was Stuff a big one. For ben. It's uh he started off. Really good, and then just never had anything to battle with the rest of the way. And this looks like trouble for Nick. Now, it's not going to really get in trouble because Ben's sitting on uh, one blind left. So this is something, uh, you know, it's very different from old school and new school. In a spot like that right there, do you isolate to get Nick out with the ace-10? to play the six, seven head up, or do you let it go three ways to knock the guy out? What do you like? Yeah. I mean, that really, that really depends on the other stacks and what your stack is. But I think that, I think that makes sense just to call and actually ACE 10 yeah. going to somehow get to hold up there on that board against two other hands. So great game to Ben. It's going to be knocked out. Needs no introduction. You guys know exactly who that is. And, Always a great stream. So, yeah, he was streaming as well. And, uh, you know, one of the top players in the world, no question about it. So nice showing for Ben. And, you know, I think uh, he came in second. Would have liked more than finishing fifth, of course, but still a nice over a quarter million dollar score. Pretty nice. And this is not going to work. Nick right, actually. No, no queen. No queen for Nick. Yeah. Wow. And there's a queen. Ace. Can you find something pointy in the deck? No spots. Oh, got him. oh he got him on the river. Wow. Oh, some real advanced commentary here. Damn. <laughs> Great oh. job. Great job, Nick. Congratulations. You do some jumping jacks for us. Wow. All wow, right. wow, wow. That's that's a huge equity pot. I mean, he's basically tied for second. There's there's uh, four left. I mean, it could be a couple hundred thousand dollars. Could be up to a four hundred thousand dollar ace on the river there. Really right, sick. Three on one. It's my three against your one. Yeah, it's actually about even the chips total in play. What's well, eight, seven? It's like literally you have a slight edge now. That was a big swing. Two deuces in the lead here. Let's see what he wants to do here. 20%. Going to deny equity from so many cards. Makes a lot of sense to bet, right? You just 
get a hand like that to fold. And then here, what does let me alone do? He is going to peel, see if Ionis keeps up the pressure. Could see either way. I think betting makes more sense to get hands like ace jack, ace 10, um, you know, even like some, this guy is very sticky. Could have like king jack, king king yeah. 10 suited. So you, you also set, you, you well, you're denying equity, but you're also setting the price to not have to call potentially on the river a bluff or whatever. So you, you get to bet, set the price and get the check back. So very nicely done from Ionis. And he's up well, to 20 million slippery. there. Very nice. God, he has only has one minute time bank. Oh no. Oh yeah, that's good. Oh, oh shit. No. no, that's not like this, man. The oh. re the is that 20 second time bank or 20 second that's disconnect? 20 second reconnect. He's he has that's the reconnecting. Because it was like he had like a minute 20. Oh my god, this guy is having a heart attack right now. That's really sick. We've seen this before. We've had the drama before with the disconnect and some big spots. I mean, it looks like it happened. So he's sitting out now. Hopefully he can get his internet sorted out here, but. Uh, he's back. He's back. He's, he's back with 20 mil. Ace four, ace four here. And Bruxo is got an ace. He doesn't have a lot of chips. He's got 11 blinds and some fold equity. Um, this is definitely a candidate to rip, but he does pass. And King Six gonna go ahead and give up. So Nick is very much alive right now. He's got seven point seven million. He's actually in second. Oh, oh, this is a this is a bit of a nasty math, match yeah. up here. And uh, Lev, it's been nice knowing you. Wow. I mean, he is calling, but this is a lot of chips on the line here. Oh, my oh goodness. My That's not it. Too, ma too many outs, Josh? Or is... No, I don't think it's enough. Oh, oh that is sick. <sighs> Come on, yeah. man. Wow, the disconnect. Maybe threw off the RNG a little. I'm Everything just disconnect. He just wow. lost ace jack to queen jack both times. And just dropped an egg. Just dropped an emoji. <laughs> oh wow. God, if this guy, if Nick can turn this over on him, he's gonna big flop for King Six suited. He's gotten over to the board. Wow, look at this. I mean, he's got two overs, open-ended flush out. Now this actually may be. Too many outs. Let's see what. Yeah, it's it, it won't get to show down. Yeah, he deserves it. He deserves to take a pot. That's. Yeah, I'll tell you who was sweating. Bruxo was looking for that. That's two times he was going to pick up at least another hundred G's if that had gone. So what's the difference the, now? Uh, yeah, hundred thousand. Yeah, it's real. Holy crap. Are you yeah, going to play? A what? Yeah, there's a lot of buy-ins. Are you? What's your your thoughts on uh, schedule out there? Do you kind of map out what you're going to play, or do you just sort of go with what you're feeling, or play no, daily? I, I just go go with what I'm feeling, and you know, it, it depends on my sleep schedule. Um, but I, I I pretty much play every day. Um, I'm going to make it a point to take a couple of days off here and there, and. You know, if if it's not to play golf, it's to, you know, go out to the golf course and hit a few golf balls and have a nice lunch and slow down a little. Because one thing I find when I'm playing every day, I'm always in a hurry. Like I'm in a hurry to get back to the room at night. I'm in a hurry to get up and and and, you know, I don't have much time in between. But when I, I take some time off, it, it really helps me reset and. I'm also getting a little older, so so it's uh, it's tougher for me to just go all out 16, 18 hours a day. And uh, yeah, so, I mean, I, 
I I don't enjoy Raz. I don't enjoy. I don't enjoy the lower buy-in tournaments where there's not much pressure on people. Oh, got an all in a call here. Taxi cab versus sixes and sixes in the lead. Scary looking board. Wow, that is a hammer lock a of a card. card. Yeah. Eight or a six. Nothing. Gonna, no soup for yeah. you, buddy. That is gonna do it. All right. Sick. So do these guys ever talk deals or what are they? I mean, is it and play play to the death or Congrats to Bruxo there. He's got over 1.278 million. So it is to the end. There's not a deal facilitating the super millions, uh, is my understanding. That's been how it's been. There's just, you know, play it out. So good game, Bruxo. Thanks for uh, giving me a good little sweat for a little while. You were one of my horses. And uh, yeah. you, you put up a hell of a fight. You never had much to deal with, but I really. He really uh, put some, made some decisions hard for some opponents. He really made some really tricky plays with some interesting limps that uh, changed the dynamic of a lot. And uh, it was a pleasure to watch you play. Yeah, well done. Good luck to you. Prazer. Boa noite, Brazilian out there. One of three at this final table. So nice showing for Brazil, although currently none of those players are left. We got Nick, Lev Me Alone, and Ionis. Uh, here and no one has anything but listen let me alone has not been afraid with nothing he's got a pretty good bluff candidate right he's got a heart he's got a jack jack 10 he's got possible flushes and 10 six would be asking a lot to call this bet I, I see what a play you can find it i don't i couldn't it does, find it it seems almost impossible yeah Oh my goodness, I got it. Josh, that is an absurd. Honestly, that's one of the sicker <laughs> calls I've seen in a long time. Like These just because uh, it, it just some of it's like every single person at the final table did something that is just makes you applaud. And he bet nine set, he bet a million into 1.3, Josh. And that's, it wasn't like a, I mean, that's a very, there must be a sizing read or something there. That was an absolutely phenomenal call. It's these guys are, they, I've just been extremely impressed the entire way. I think uh, a lot of my days off are going to be uh, in no limit tournaments. I will not be battling with these guys. And here's a good action. This is a good action turn card. Unfortunately, the jack comes on the end. But I, I would not be. Well, yeah, there I go again. Calling the wrong action. Yeah, so this is, uh, yeah, 16, 13, and, and 9. So still anyone's tournament here. Nick still has 30 blinds, so. Getting down to it, but this could take a bit. Definitely could take a bit still. There's a lot of play, a lot of money on the line. So third place is guaranteed 437000 Right now they're playing for 130000 difference and 300000 difference to the winner. I think no matter what, all these guys should be – I'd like to see – how Lev, see, this is what I was, no, Lev acted pretty fast again. Um, you know, that was a time where I think that the history that they've had, Lev feels, um, it feels that it's important to act fast and not give away the strength of his hand by thinking. Um, and that's where I talked, what I was talking about earlier that it's important to give yourself a little time to think on all your decisions so that when something like that comes up, you don't give somebody a timing tell. Yeah, I, I, I agree. Other the, the He's been very balanced for sure. He's for sure. just playing very quick. Oh my oh, goodness. Okay. Not, not that he needed it, but what a card. There's really not a lot that can go to get uh let me alone into trouble here though.
and he does just get out of the way. King, Jack, A7, some decent three-handed hands here. Tricky hand to play. You know, you could see some three bet in from A7 off. It just, you know, this is a spot where you get out flopped or even just, you know, don't, uh, it's just a tricky hand to play, but just gives a quick fold there. So stacks leveling out 12.7, 17.5, and 8.5 million respectively. I like your side, Josh, but I don't know. Ionis also has played phenomenally well. Is, Maybe he can get back. The guy's a beast. It's it, he will not go down without a fight. And he turned Jin. Unfortunately, Nick just has nothing. Yeah, yeah, a lot of money between first second. You can see there's actually one hundred thirty thousand the next pay jump, and likely this will go bet in a call. Let me alone loves playing post flop. Surely going to defend six four suited. Both players miss the board. You could see a check raise out of the six four diamonds here. A lot of back doors, and I honest did a good job checking. Um, you know, this is just another you know range frequency situation where where Lev knows that it doesn't fit. Uh, the three eight nine flop. Yeah, so now I honestly he does have king high. Probably understanding a bit like he's thinking a lot of time he might have just got rivered somehow too, but he just decides that hey, King High, I guess he's he's bluffing, maybe gets a three off, uh an eight eight puts an eight in a very tough situation too. And gets a lot of ace fours, ace fives to fold there. Yeah. I'm going to run to the bathroom real quick. I'll be one minute. Perfect. All right. We're going to, guys, three-handed here. We're going to play to a winner. So if you're watching at home, welcome you in to the stream. Thank you. If you're enjoying, please hit that thumbs up button. It means a lot to us, and it helps to promote and get the show out there. I know we have had some unbelievable big prize pools, some of the biggest stars in the game. Also had some great guests on recently. I appreciate you guys joining me, and I am having a blast. This has been a very, very fun Super Millions. This is season two, episode 43. Josh Aria joins me and we're enjoying it. What's up? I see some familiar faces. Pappy Van Winkle in the chat. Some other big regulars. Appreciate you guys. King five suited, ace seven off. So both players going to be interested. A7 still has the best hand. Board pairs. This is definitely a good card for, for Nick. Curious what he goes with here. Goes for the lead. Definitely seems like a reasonable lead a lot of time in the turn pairs. And look at this run out. He gets the dream gin run out. Six million SPR less than one. Does he ever slip it over? Or does he just decide that, no, I'm going to value bet. And, uh, you know, let me alone. King high on the river, just going to give it up. So nice pot from Nick. And it's tight. It's real tight now. Josh, you missed a pretty I interesting hand, and this is very tight. Okay. Yeah, deals are not allowed. Just getting reconfirmation. I, I knew that was the case. I didn't know if that was always the case on the Super Millions or if that was a newer thing, but... No deals permitted, Josh. We are getting to play for the whole shebang. What do you think about deals? Do you ever, you know, is there a time and a place for it? Do you like to play it out or it really depends situationally and who's um, in it? I've very rarely made any deals. Um, I've wanted uh, the most pressure on people as possible. Um, but, you know, now as I've gotten older and I know that those, you know, those high dollar situations are few and far between. Um, I am not as against it as I used to be, but I've, I mean, as I say that I've very rarely ever made a deal. Um, I had a, a funny story is back in 2009 or 2010, I was head up uh, with uh, Danny Ali at, 
the Doyle Brunson Classic at the Bellagio. First is 1.6 million. Second is a million. And I had like a eight to five chip lead. Like it was like 16 million to 10 million or something. And offered him a very generous deal just because it was weird playing against a friend for so much money. We're playing a sit and go for 600,000. And he denied me. Like he's like, no. And then, you know, I two hands later, we were all in with Queens against Ace King and I lost. And he ended up beating me shortly thereafter. But um, yeah, it's uh, it's as close as I've ever been to a WPT title. Um, but yeah, I, I'm not so much against it now. Like I've never had a, I've never had, ooh, this is gonna be an interesting one. I've never had uh, trouble gambling against friends because um, if I ever go broke, who's going to loan me money? Or if my friend goes broke, who who's going to loan him money? Um, wow. Poor Ionis. This is going to be... Uh, I, I don't see Ionis getting away from this hand easily. Right. Now, there's some, ten, some hearts yes. and 10 jack... Queens, There's 10 but... jack queens. Yeah, this is just really, really unfortunate for Ionis. Um, I think that like uh, a forty percent pot here bet, like one point one, is 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 a good number to get called. Yeah, one point four. He went a little bigger, and I think that you have to call. And this is another time. Look, he's he's got one minute to think about this huge hand. But at least he used his time back time bank wisely earlier. Like he used his whole time bank. That might have helped him get away um, from. I don't know. I, I if he bets like three point three, I think he has to. I think Ionis has to call. There's just too many hands that that are three three barrel bluffs. Yeah, he yeah. Does I go. think he just has to call here. It's. I mean, three streets at 3.1. It's a, the, the question is, does he bet a jack for value? Probably, you know, does he bet like jack queen or jack 10 of hearts? Or, you know, I honestly is going to, uh, this is a, this, I don't envy this spot. This is very tricky. No, no I, it, it, yeah, it's, there's nothing, there's nothing to that hand. It's just unfortunate. Um, it sucks. It sucks. You just, you just got to pay it off. Well, he might, he might get some love back here. Yeah, I mean, he's certainly going to be putting this up. And the question is, what is force? How do they respond? Uh, Ace Queen suited goes two point three. Not a huge sizing, but three X out of position gets called. And now this is interesting. No, neither player going to love the flop. I bet like 900. Oh, he checked. And Mamoni is dropping emojis and, and gifts left and right. He's got the chip lead all of a sudden. And I mean, Ionis has really played such a great game. He had wow. the ace as played. What's he going to do here? This is a strange one. Wow, four is gonna get to show it Lev down. Is win. so happy. Oh my gosh. Poor Ionis. Sick. Ionis yeah, really I mean, played great so far. Yeah, so far he really he didn't. He actually got in. Oh, eights to eights likely gonna chop, but we'll we'll see it. C five could be a flush. Uh the he lost ace queen. Uh he lost ace queen to Queen Jack two times. I'm sorry, Ace Jack to Queen Jack twice, exactly, all in yeah. like four handed. Yeah. Uh, he's getting so, free rolled. All right. No, 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 no action. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair fight. Fair result. 50 50. And still anyone's game, but Nick now has got control and he actually. Is basically tied. Oh, that's with what I wanted to do. I wanted to look up this Nick and see Nick Lewis. 
M A M O I N E poker. Wow, look at this board. Just flops oh, the man. joint. <laughs> Under rep too, but eights, the opponent doesn't have the hand to give him a lot of action here at all. So there is a flush draw now. Eights just can't quite get sticky. And yeah, Nick's having fun. He's got 17 mil and he has got command here. Ace eight just goes for a limp strategy. Wow. Wow. All right, these yeah, boys are showing. I think I recognize him. He definitely looks There's... like somebody that would be irritating at the table. He looks very confident. Yeah. All right. So Ace Eight limps in, checks down, still has the best hand. And look at this. Let me alone. Just steps out of line. And look at that. Just gets him off wow. the Ace Eight. I mean, what looks like just going to be a check down, give up into a over bet takedown, just huge bet. And that is a uh, Let Me Alone's got moves. I'll tell you what. That's an interesting button fold for seven nine of hearts. I'm sure it's got something to do with stack sizes, but the seven nine of hearts would be a really nice hand. He, he would have got three bet anyway, so he wouldn't have seen the flop. Yeah, he, well, he would have had the nuts if he had gotten to a turn with a redraw, but um, yeah, this is uh, this is so got him ever since. Ever since the uh, unlucky disconnect. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's stuff started going a little awry. Oh, both players with some hands here. And look at 10-5, going to exercise his right with the blocker, going to check raise, gets called. And now, do you really want to shell off versus let me alone here? He decides to go for it and let me alone calls and has the best hand josh if he can stick on and if nick decides to do any more telling of a story but i mean let's see does wave the white flag yeah ace king uh -oh. ace nine suited uh-oh Oh, it's not good. It's going to go three, four, and then fold. Oh, my, oh my goodness. Gosh. Oh, wow. my gosh. Oh, and Nick says, you know what? I don't care. Oh, man. I own us. Ace King, and he has got, got a him hammer dead. lack dead. Wow. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, yes. wow, wow. Well played, Nick. God. I mean, Sick. I guess He's... it's... it's yeah, he said, I don't care about 220, 230,000. I'm already rich. He's like, I'm, you know what? I got a, I got a big hand here and I'm going to, I'm not going to think long, think wrong, take it down. So Nick has a hammer lock and he's got a stack now. He can really, really lean on these two because yeah, there is a big, this. big. I see Nick. These guys are going to be under 3 million a piece before there's a showdown. Because there's 220,000 and they're just waiting for the other guy. And Nick yeah, is just going to keep pounding. It's definitely possible. Of course, you know, there could be wake ups. But yeah, he gets to make plays like this with much worse hands. Doesn't need even an ace there. So um, oh. also, then this can happen. All right, though. here comes and it your can boy. Just be, yeah, this is an important and one. And here comes Josh's dinner. Can he win a flip? Uh oh. Nick's running a little too hot. Oh, until good he's not. for Ionis. Good Very clean good turn. turn. Four outs. And oh, whoa. he faded the offsuit paint. All wow. right, Ionis with a double up, getting a little chip, getting some chips back. Yeah, so he's now in clear seconds, and good flop. For Nick with the seven four, likely going to bet small. Just go ahead and these probe. guys play he at does. a great pace. These guys play at a great pace, where it's like it's really fast. Yeah, yeah. It's just, this is nice. All right, it's going three x. Going to put a little more pressure yeah. on 
I like that. Yeah, I like that. He does that to uh, make sure to, to narrow down the ranges of the hands that Ionis can play. This is going to yeah, go just... limp, raise, fold. Oh, no, he was smart. Ionis saved the limp money. Yeah, just just not messing around. This is a A7. This is a bit of a tough spot, probably just min raise, but he knows he can get put a lot of pressure on by Nick. Uh, can mess with him if he wants. And Jack-5 suited. Certainly playability. Also risk premium. The lowest definitely takes a flop. A7 flops top two. Monotone flop, all diamonds. Picks it up, yeah, picks it up. So get a couple of pots together. Ooh, this could be Ooh. problematic. Limp. Oh, he's calling, yeah. A6 is in behind, but we've seen the worst hand win a few times. Again, though, it looks like. And no drama. No drama no turn. No drama. And so flip the script. This is kind of a license for Nick to just get back to work. Like you said, yeah. maybe can yeah. start leveraging the stacks are back. They've done a little merry-go-round there. Look at the aces uh -oh. here. Wow. Wow. This is, this is curious. Yeah, I guess small, small raise and give your opponent a chance to rip it in, but no such luck. And big hands being passed around here. Yeah, it's curious that ace nine suited though. He's gonna get some ace tens, ace jacks to fold, right? Ace king just too good, but that is gonna work a lot. Yeah. Suited ace. Uh, does go for it. These guys aren't. These guys aren't just putzing around, you know. They're uh, they're, they're they're putting it in. They're trying to win. They're trying to win. They're not. They're they're not uh, just letting the game come to them. I really respect, you know, the the aggression and you know the heart that every single player has shown. It's it's been a really show of class. Yeah, this is top-notch stuff, guys. I hope you're enjoying at home. Let us know where you're watching from. We are calling the action. I am in Europe. Josh is in the USA Atlanta. and Atlanta. I'm in Berlin. He is going to be going to the World Series tomorrow, correct? Yeah. And we're going to record a pod later. We're putting in a full day's work here today, Josh. This is not a hobby, yeah, man. We're, we're really – it's time to it's time to get immersed in the poker. We are down to three, playing to a winner – 437,000 US dollars are locked up and we see a limp and a weak ace. And that is all you can eat, picks it up. You don't have your dinner locked up yet. I'll tell you what, if Ionis can Ionis can find a way. I definitely don't. No, he's a, he's a player. I just feel bad for him that he's got 25 seconds left on his shot clock. And you know, if he, if, if he, if a tough situation comes up, it's, uh, it's really going to be irritating for him to have to make a snap decision when the other guys have plenty of time to think about tough spots. I'll tell you who's not at time bank risk is let me alone. That man plays with a plan yeah. and a purpose and a, and a rigor about him. He is just snap snapping it about and a nice hand for him in the big line here, Nick and a limp. He's probably just going to rip mix. Okay. Let me ask you a DJ question. Yeah. What do you think the chances are that these three guys, any of these three guys are playing in another game online somewhere? Do you think that they're only single tabling this or are they playing another game? Uh, it's a great question. I would say they're probably not playing anything else right now. Yeah. Although this is like the end of these big online series right now. What's the date today? The third, actually. So no, I think there might be some big action going. So yeah, I'd say they are playing in some other table. I think this is like the last day of the series on GG. Yeah. So yeah, they're probably playing a few. These, this is, uh, this is really, the action just goes so fast. Like it's, I mean, literally 
He just was all in and five seconds later, he's got to make another decision on the next hand. It's uh, crazy stuff. Yeah, this is, I, I for sure, if Ionis has got other tables going, I hope he's got this big in, in his, in his sights. Cause <laughs> yeah. ooh, this is a, this is a, this is a tough spot here. And he rips it in. And he's only got 20 seconds to think about it. Is there any way he lays this down? It seems almost impossible, but he does it. Yeah. Wow. Very nice, sir. Yeah, we know. Pretty, pretty sick. Pretty sick. Great fold. That, that actually... Yeah, that is, that surprises me a bit that he didn't think about it a little more. I guess he doesn't have much time, but that's a, that's a tough spot. He could easily... I mean, the fact that he actually didn't have the best hand too, right? Like a lot of time, there's going to be some king queens or jack tens suited. So, ooh, couple uh, of spades here. Poor Lev is in very bad shape. Yeah, this is this could easily be a check stopped, and it does. And oh. snap called, and he is going to need runner, runner, five deuce or a straight. And there's a there's five. A start. That just doesn't feel right. Oh, I was going to oh, say that would have been. No sided, no sided Ooh. other color. Sick. Right. Sick. We got a game. We definitely have a game. And Iona's going to complete here. Uh, it does flop. Oh, wow. This is problematic. Oh, wow. He could win the whole tournament right here. This is pretty sick. Oh my goodness. Oh my what a card. Josh, are they trying to get Open us out the door here? What is <laughs> happening? This is a sick he's double double gutted flush draw top pair. And I mean Wow. I'm I just thinking is that, I guess he's sticking at weighing his options here to raise or call. Oh my goodness. Josh, we we might be going to Robichon. We might be. This is we uh wow, man. He gets a big pot and he is now chip leader. So all right, good game. Leave me alone. Four million plus on GG winnings. Another great showing from him. I loved how he played. Well done. And let's take a look at the heads up battle. Slight lead to Ionis finds his way back. That was a sick, sick run out there. Sick. I mean, he had so many outs. What a turn. <laughs> what a river. It's like the old Double gutter, flush draw. It's like an Omaha out. Yeah, that was that was a lot going on. So a six. So what happened there? He just floated him with eight nine. He did. This is pretty savage. I mean, he must have some plans here. Or I guess he, he was thinking about some that. His that's plans pretty. We're hoping that he checked, I guess. Yeah, there was definitely a thought there, but it's a little separation for Ionis shows the 972. These boys are a lot to be thankful for. They got 567 locked up. And Nick, I mean, Ionis had a little adversity that the ace jack, queen jack, forehanded sure. a couple times. And we're playing for some real money here. What's this, 70, 175,000? Roughly 170. Yeah. I mean, these guys yep. definitely deserve to come one and two. Um, they've been tangling. They've been in action. They've shown a lot of heart um, and, you know, caught a few cards along the way. It's uh, wh whoever wins this tournament definitely deserves it. And there's been a battle well fought. Yeah, this is this is exciting, and and Ionis is got a little bit of a a lead all of a sudden. Seven eight deuce eight mid pair for Nick Mamoni there. And a call Ionis just with like a little little feeler stab. Let's see if he's going to kick the heat up or just give up. He does decide to give this one up. Pop for Nick. 
And 18 seconds left on that shot clock could come into play, but it is heads up. And we did see this last week. I saw we had Oli Shemian and uh, a very talented player last week play heads up in the, and he was out of uh, time bank. The other player it was, it was pretty fascinating to watch. So hopefully you know, it doesn't come into play too much here, but something to keep an eye on. Hard to make pairs heads up, Josh. I don't know, yeah. you know, how you feel about your heads up game. Obviously, you've won four yeah. WCP bracelets, but it's it comes down to, you know, it's not something we practice a lot. Yeah, no, it's uh I battled Philip Huey at the uh 50 Josh froze there, I think. Uh, we'll see if we get him back in a second. I don't know what happened. His camera froze. Hope you guys can see everything is okay on my end, other than Josh just freezing there. We got a heads-up match here for $170,000. And Josh will try to get his audio sorted out. A6 going to take control of this hand. Two world-class players, lot to decide here. I mean, this is... A title. This is a big one. This is the end of this major series, fifth to the 31st on GG. King Queen suited, 710 off, gonna shoot it up. And it is coming to a about a two to one lead currently for Ionis. It's gonna limp the fours. And maybe just limp jam makes sense, right? You're gonna play it like this. <clears throat> get the bluffs sometimes you're flipping excuse me is it you're over back. i'm no. back you're back but it's it's getting getting a it's little bit of a two, me. oh my gosh two to one separation the thing i love most about this is ionis was the the one of or nine of nine shortest player last one drafted but i saw his profile he had an impressive resume it's he's he's deserved every bit of this lead that you know this run that he's been on he made one of the toughest calls that you know we'll see for a very long time and was right you know it's so many times there you just look like an idiot but he was right and uh he's done what he's needed to do since then yeah i think what was so impressive about that hand is like sure you know from that naked eye you could also just be like oh he has ace king like top pair top kicker but to your point, it was literally like those hands he's beating. That's about it. So, like, you kind of got to narrow the range and then make the right decision. So, yeah, yeah, credit to him. And not over yet, but either way, they got 567 locked up, these two players. So, pretty special. Super Millions Season 2, Episode 43. Jeff Gross alongside Josh Arie. And we are in for a heads-up battle for 170000 The title, the glory. The momentum, probably see both these guys at the World Series at some point. And, you know. Yeah, and that's yeah, pretty Josh. cool. Like, to, that's pretty cool to, you know, come into the World Series and nobody, you know, very few people knowing that you just won a half a million. And, you know, having that momentum that nobody knows about, and, you know, playing, being able to play so <laughs> freely. This is a very interesting flop that we should see some action here. I expect Nick to <coughs> just right on cue that <laughs> the professional makes a different move. Yeah, I would expect him to have bet, been betting there as well. But as it turns out, he's gonna gonna save some chips. That's for sure. This could have got this could have got really big pot. Yeah. At the same time, man, I don't know if it's uh, you know the super millions. I think pe people definitely this is the marquee tournament online poker running weekly and you know i think a lot of people you know yeah, to this, your point this, they're gonna they're, they're gonna grab half a million and come in for the it's a lot of buy-ins for the series but uh, you know a lot absolutely. of people definitely keep up with this and know where it's at and this is a this is definitely uh you know we gotta do this more often josh we have to have you not during the series because it's be busy but after we'll have to have you back on let's do an omaha one where i actually have an idea what's going on where this here yes. is just like these guys are playing at such a 
amazing level that yeah it's special it's hard for me to it's hard for me to <coughs> understand what's going on listen i'm right there with you i trust me i get uh, i get nervous even guessing a lot of time because there's so there's so much going on these guys are so deep yeah. in the matrix they they definitely do some unconventional stuff and also i mean a lot of stuff these days josh there's randomizing too right like a lot of spots right. where it's a mixed thing so they're actually maybe rolling and randomizing so you know a that's spot true. where they check could easily be just go the other way so that's that's a big part of it i bet it was uh, i bet it was a lot of fun uh doing it with with rast because he's such an elite player and, and it's really cool the way that he thinks outside the box and He's uh, he's somebody to look up to, and and his resume speaks for itself. I bet it was fun uh, picking his brain doing it. Absolutely. Well, you know, this is this is actually a really interesting spot here. But nine five gonna get the hammer lock on the hand. Um, you know, rest. So we did the Triton commentary for like ten days or twelve days. I don't know. Did you you, you said you haven't seen I much caught poker, some right? Of it. I I I I caught. Uh, I did. I saw one episode and it was really a treat to listen to you guys. It's man. I'll tell you what that is. So Triton and GG, you know, they, they have some shared and do some promoting and, and stuff together, but like it really is high end, right? Like this is, it's fun to watch those, uh, those high buy-ins and high production yeah. values. So it's nice to see the GG and Triton, you know, linking up. Yeah. And the doing Triton, some cross Triton promoting. series was, was really cool series to keep up with. Yeah, it's, it's, anytime, it's fun. anytime Phil, anytime Phil Ivey's in a tournament, it's gonna, you're gonna get some eyes on it. He's uh, something we, spectacular. Got to get you to the to an upcoming one. They had the PLO yeah. there. The one they had the twenty. I they thought about PLO. it. Yeah, I thought about it, um, but just uh, ended up not going. Just uh, you're the WSOP Player of the Year. You got to be rested for that. This is your special. Yeah. This is your zone coming yeah. up here. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with that and try not to get involved with the guys that just don't give a shit about money. I like I like picking on people that are looking at the prize pool and looking at the pay jumps and uh, trying to find oh. equity. Here we go. Here's the, gotten all in here. Seven nine suited queen ten. There's a nine special flop. Oh, oh he got the ten. Here. Can he hold? God, he's got. He's really got him shutting. Yeah, he did. Oh my goodness, he did it! Wow, what a right. what a board! My man Nick is battling for me, <clears throat> running high. He's got the inferno gift there. Yeah, it's uh, and and time baked down to eleven seconds, but not over yet. Still about not quite two to one, but a lead for Iona still. What an action flop! The king nine. He had the queen ten or jack backdoor diamonds. Got a money card, ten of diamonds on the turn. So. Uh, we are going to continue playing some poker here. All right, Nick. So, like, if if you if you're in Nick's seat right now, like, what is what are what's going through your head? Like the not the poker thoughts, like the mental. Like, I'm big on the mental side of poker, and like, what do you think about when you know this guy's got the lead and he's you know obviously got the advantage? What do you think about here? Oh, this is not going to work this time. And so I'm thinking, I'm very happy that I'm heads up, right? There, I think four handed, he got it in queen, jack, ace, jack to be alive. So, um, you know, from, from that standpoint, I think you're just kind of feeling nice that you've got an extra 230,000. Uh, you then realize you're playing a great player. So this isn't going to be a cakewalk. Um, you know, you realize it's, it's about even. And you know, I think that there's times when you're playing heads up and you're like, all right, I got a huge advantage on a guy. I'm better, more experienced, all that. That's not happening here. He knows this right. guy is very competent, very whatever. So I think you kind of realize in certain spots, maybe kick up the variance a little bit. Um, not that's, saying that's, he's that's outclassed. Good. That's good. I'm not saying he's outclassed. I'm just saying, you know, that's when you get heads up, you want to determine if you think you have a big advantage or not. And if, it, if it's close, you know, you, you maybe have a little bit of a different strategy. So I think these both players realize that this is a formidable opponent. Wow, look at this float. Just There's a lot of money in the middle. Hell yeah. Just oh my gosh, the Queen Eight is gonna win the hand. Is it? You think he's gonna just he's going for it here? I mean he wasn't floating to 
to think Queen High was good. Yeah, no, I get it. He's got five seconds. I mean, this is a pretty intense hand. The question is, does he go for He's all of it? Four point two. He might go more. Wow, seven. seven. He's gonna win the fucking hand. God. Oh my goodness. Wow. Don't show the Queen Eight bluff. He didn't. Wow. Sick. That's so good. Sick. Whoo! Sick. Both players with a straight jaw, and both players now with the pair. A heart is there as well. Certainly not going to fold with a heart and a pair and a straight draw. And he does get the winner on the river here. And actually, uh, Nick makes a straight. Not a good one, but he is. He goes for some betting, and Nick uh, a little more time bank, but. You know, kind of realizing I don't lose, I don't beat a jack or a heart. Yes. Still Dang. decides heads up. It's hard to make in any end. He's still in shock. He's going to be so sick when he sees the queen eight float. Yeah, I mean, his particular hand was just nasty, right? There was like the, the having the king jack suited, but I, I am. I, I've seen so many amazing plays this final table what was that that call nick made with 610 suited as well that was yeah. sick the bottom pair bottom pair on an ace king jack i mean these guys are playing the game man ace king jack eight six or something like that yeah it was it was really wild really really wild i mean this is yeah we've seen some amazing things wow well, big here hands go. here this is going to be for the for the ship right here can I own his hold? Because it is getting called. King, queen, ace, jack suited. Here we go. For the title, 735000 and Josh Aria dinner money. If I own his can hold. And so far, clean flop. Pretty nice turn. Can he hold the river, Josh? Let's see a monkey. No. Did it. Did it. What Huge a congrats. performance, man. What an absolute legend. That what a player. Special, that was, special um, comes to mind. Yeah, that was unbelievable to watch. He went from ninth, came to the final table in last position, and finished winning seven hundred and thirty-five thousand dollars. What a absolute amazing performance out of him and Nick Mamone. Nick Mamone, he put a pretty good. He he needs to be happy with his performance as well. And didn't I own his fold sevens when he would have been running yep. into Nick's nines earlier yeah, as well? There was some other winning. some other big big fold. He folded sevens under the gun off the short stack as well. So honestly, really impressive. I am a, I am a believer in this man's ability. He played a flawless game. Also ran well, of course, but had some bad run too down the stretch, but still came back to win it. So we got to see it all. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Is season two, episode forty three. The Super Millions Weekly on GG. Josh, Arya, joining me. I'm your host, Jeff Gross. I'll be here next week, and I will be uh, bringing you some more high-stakes action. Josh, thank you for the time, and best of luck on WSOP when you head out there. Hopefully, you can have another Player of the Year a follow-up, man. Wish you the best, and, and we'll be doing a podcast shortly. So, good to uh, see you in a little bit. All right, Jeff. Thanks, buddy. That was, that was pretty fun to do. Cheers.